Hey. Hi. Wow, that was underwhelming. <laughs> Let's try again. Hello. Hey. Hi. Let's, Hi. Let's blow out everybody's headphones. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Black Bag. Uh, we are here to play Gumshoe tonight. Gumshoe is a uh, great system that's set up for investigation games. Tonight we're playing Fear Itself. Uh, Fear Itself is meant to uh, uh, recreate horror movies like uh, from the late 70s to the early 90s. These are ordinary people all around me. They are not special badass um, detectives or anything like that. He's talking about the characters. The not characters. Not <laughs> They're badass detectives, absolutely. <laughs> Men in black, every one of them. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, they're very squishy. They have high fleas, so they can run away very well, um, and not a lot of combat. If, if you've watched the Black Bag series up until this point, we actually didn't have combat for most of first season. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, and there's a reason for that, because no matter whether you're, whether you're a badass or not, you taste the same to Cthulhu. <laughs> um, yes. Here's a couple cool things about the system. So, uh, we use just a D6. They don't get to know what the difficulty level is. It can be from two to eight. I'm going to have them close their eyes when there's an important roll, and I'm going to show you with these cards what they have to get. <laughs> they have pools of points. So, like, they might have, I know that Nick's character has mechanic, right? And I think yep. you have eight in it. Yep. So if he's trying to get a car to work and something horrible is coming down the street towards him, I'll say, okay, do you want to spend any of your points beforehand? You know, and he might say, like, two or whatever. And then he rolls and adds whatever points he spent onto his roll. So... The average is going to be four, but they don't know what I'm going to put in. So they might think, I might put up a two. I might be like, hey, you know, this is going to be simple. And they might be freaking out and going, okay, I'm, I'm going to spend like eight points. Dump it. <laughs> Dump it all. Um, much, like, uh, much like Cutthroat Kitchen, if you ever watch that show, don't spend all your money in the first round. It's just not a good way to go. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so they get to spend their points. Well, once their points are gone, they're, especially in this particular, if it was an ongoing campaign, they might be able to refresh a little bit easier, but they might also need you, the great elder gods out there watching us in chat, to help them out or to screw them over. I can use rerolls as well. Um, so there are two sets of skills they're their investigation skills, which they don't have to roll for, because uh, the game is set on the premise that it's not finding the clues that is important, it's what they do with the clues. So, and I kind of like that, that idea. Um, there are a lot of different gumshoe games. I just got Time Watch from Kevin Culp, which I want to play. It's, uh, it's like a time travel uh, game that I did a Kickstarter for uh, a couple of years ago, and I, I got the book, and I'm ready to play it. Um, anyway, it's the same thing. It's you've got your general skills and your uh, your investigation skills. So investigation, if you have a point in the investigation skills, you get it. So if Nick's character tries to intimidate someone, he doesn't have to roll. He just gets the information. Whoa. That was intense, Nick. Oh, <laughs> Watch out. So. Um, also, but general skills, uh, they do have to roll. And like I said, they have their points that they have to put into it. So if they're trying to start a car or run away, they have to use their, their, uh, their skill points in it. Um, this is in the Black Bag universe, but it's going to be present day, 2016. Um, and we'll get into the whole story of it in the background and all that good stuff as we get into play. Um, do any of the players here have any questions before we jump head in mm. head first into this? What's my hit threshold? Is that like my AC? Your hit threshold is basically your AC. I have to roll a three or better to hit you. Um, and if you have an athleticism of four, 
you get a eight, uh, I mean of eight, you get a threshold of four. Mm. So I think Thanks. Nick's character has, a, has that. Mm. And so do, so do you, uh, so does Michelle. Um, your stability, unlike Call of Cthulhu, you roll stability, um, you'll, usually it's against four. Um, that's the one thing and that you does. Use points and that you can, you, you, well, you can if you want, but then they're gone. Okay. And once your stability gets to first at like zero to negative five, you're in a little bit of trouble. And then you go into negatives though. <laughs> and so it gets worse and worse as you're going along. Sounds bad. Uh, you can literally lose your mind completely oh. and then you're done. I see you can get what is it, diagnosed insanity. So is that what that is? Yeah, that's more for oh. ongoing games. Oh. So like if you've got let's say you're doing an ongoing campaign and you go insane and then your character can use the shrink ability to be able to, and it's not to get smaller, <laughs> it's to help out with, yeah. I really want to use that. Yeah. <laughs> shrink the damage or Sh shrink yeah. the... Psychology. What? Brains. A shrink. Oh, shrink. A shrink. A shrink. A brain shrink. A Don't worry, shrink. everybody did the same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I did too, I was like, shrink? The hell? Nick, do you want to do it too now and join it's, in? It's uh, it's so that if you buy clothes that are oversized, you right? Can fit. <laughs> Absolutely, now we've, we've all done, done it. <laughs> That's something Francesca would like. <laughs> <laughs> um, this game uses um, stereotypes as it's uh, like just to kind of get you in. Um, these are all college kids. Like I said, it's very much like a, uh, a slasher movie from the '80s or the '70s. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and, and jump in. And um, you guys are all going to Boston U. You're in your final like year. Um, you have gone to a uh, basketball game. It's actually preseason because it's the mid, you know, mid October. It's preseason. It's something that you just decided to go to with a bunch of other friends, and they actually bust you. Um, out to Arkham. Um, the game is at Mesotonic U, and it's uh, the fighting cephalopods are out there. The fighting fighting cephalopods. <laughs> cephalopods are out there. Um, go pods! Uh, you guys are actually go terriers. Oh, oh go terriers. Go when terriers. I saw that, I'm like, wow, <laughs> terriers. Okay, raw. Um, <laughs> so I know some guys in Boston's right now. Fucker, terriers are mad. <laughs> Some guy's really angry about that. I'm sorry. Get a thing. Anyway, um, so um, you guys are at a basketball game. Uh, you're, you've haven't been to Arkham before. It's an old school, um, and uh, they haven't really kept it up. Boston's an old school as well, obviously, but they've kept the school well maintained. This place isn't so well maintained. Um, you took a bus here all together and because uh, it was just cheaper and um, uh, what exactly I think that you would all be sitting close by each other but not necessarily with each other um, there are 16 other people that are there with you from the school uh, including your best friend um, including, uh, I believe, your Tasha. friend, Tasha. Mm -hmm. um, so really quick, before we get too much in, let's start with you and kind of go around in a circle mm -hmm. and just say your name and kind of a little bit about your character. You don't need to give anything out that... I'll read it all to you. Um, no? That it's that one over there. <laughs> oh, I'll read it all to you here. No, okay. <laughs> um, my name is Brenda Seiss, and I... Uh, I'm my, uh, we have stereotypes on here, which is actually kind of cool. Um, but my stereotype is smart girl. Um, so I'm like a short blonde and, you know, I need glasses and things like that. Um, yeah, and seemingly from what it says, I'm, I'm a kind, thoughtful type person. I really like fantasy books and Wi-Fi. Um, and uh, I've got a good friend named Tasha Wilkes. And I don't like things like no cell phone reception. And I don't like talking about sex. That's on here. It's very important. <laughs> So, it is a yeah. horror movie. It is, and that's, that's important. And I mean, I'm smart, obviously, so that's the one thing you don't want to do in a horror movie because that's right. when you get killed. Right. Uh, but yeah. remember, this isn't Scream, so you don't know you're in a horror right. movie. Right. <laughs> oh. Darn it. Um, but I want to be a doctor, 
And wow, I did a mean thing to my brother's dog on accident, but I won't go into that. So yep. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Each one of these characters has a, a dark secret, some worse than others. Nick? Uh, my name is Rick Williams. I'm a student here at Boston U. Um, I was in athletics, but uh, blew out my, my knee uh, during football. So <laughs> He took an no. arrow in the knee. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's what happens when you play sports. Tra tragic uh, archery accident that uh, took me out of sports. He catches the ball. So. Where'd that arrow come from? <laughs> Why they do that on the same field? <laughs> come on! <laughs> So, so now I'm studying law, but you know I'm I'm still a big guy. Uh, I do have a, a bit of a bit of a short fuse, and and uh, something bad happened, and it's uh, caused me to be kind of introspective about certain certain things. But but I'm still still stubborn, still tough, big guy. Um, but but I try and be friendly with everyone. I I just I want to make sure everything's okay. Okay, Michelle. Okay, I am Francesca Blue, and the stereotype is sexy girl. Uh, Francesca, the biggest uh, ambition she has is uh, to marry rich so she doesn't have to work. Um, so she's that girl. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, loves mirrors <laughs> and gossip and cash and high heels. Uh, which she always wears. Which she always wears. Oh, you always wears. wear cash. Cool. Nice. Yeah. She's, yeah. <laughs> I've made Sorry. dresses out of it. <laughs> Couture. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, you know, she, but she doesn't want to be remembered as being shallow. <laughs> Wearing cash helps okay. yeah. It's okay yeah. if she is shallow. She just doesn't want to be remembered for that. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Samuel Titus, and uh, I'm, I'm the brain. I'm really smart, short, red hair, green eyes. Um, I really like books and coding and new tech and Netflix. Uh, but interestingly, I do not like Star Trek. <gasps> yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or bros. Or people who drink, spot. obviously. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, one time I was short on some cash and I did some things I'm not super proud of, but everything's okay now. So. Just steal one of her dresses. Yeah. No. Or you just walk behind her in a, in a yeah. heavy wind or something. <laughs> <laughs> See, I need one, two, three. Okay, yeah. good. Perfect. <laughs> it's a draft. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you guys are sitting in the stands uh, watching this basketball game. You're close by each other. Um, and uh, down at the front, you can see... Uh, one of your professors uh, who came with you guys and the bus driver. Uh, the bus driver's, uh, uh, the professor's name's uh, Edgar Gill. Um, he teaches um, English and uh, he really wants people to be involved in the school um, sports. Um, <laughs> Uh, he used to be, he's an alumni, he used to, you know, play, and uh, so he always gives, like, he's willing to give a little bit of an extra credit bump to anybody who's willing to go to these kind of games. Um, uh, and uh, the, um, Kim Gale is the bus driver, um, and Kim is probably in her late 40s. Uh, she's got a really nasty scar from her earlobe down to about mid-neck, um, and she is burly. Not necessarily um, overweight, but just kind of really broad-shouldered and, and, and uh, you know, just filled out frame. Um, and she is always smoking. Uh, even on the bus, uh, it annoys the hell out of you guys. Uh, mm. uh, but she's always smoking a cigarette. And Wait, straight or menthols? Uh, menthols. Mm. Oh, that's uh. fine. That's fine. <laughs> I forgot about that. I remember that. <laughs> All right. Um, so she's always smoking a cigarette, and you guys see them down there talking. Uh, you're drinking, and and you know drinking. You're not drinking, drinking, but you're uh, you're enjoying the game. Uh, is there anything anybody wants to do while they're hanging out, watching the game? Any conversations you want to have before I fast forward a little bit? 
man, these terriers are really going to uh, take these pods uh, to, to the bank. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. This Am I right, guys? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. Brandon next to you, one of the one of the guy, one of the other students, because I cephalopods. I, I don't know. I mean, if we can't beat these guys, then they, they, this is such a small school. If we can't beat them, we're never going to get anywhere in the regular season. I just don't. I don't see us going very far. But we're we're up only by three points, and it's the it's the end of the game. So. I mean, they could turn it around at any moment. You notice that, you know, Brandon seems a little nervous about everything, you know, kind of looking around. Is he usually that nervous? Yeah. Um, it, it's like he's got, like, you know, he's, it's like he's uh, always worried about who's watching him, that kind of thing. So, um Hmm. Excellent. Thank you, BSB Care. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, BSB Care, no! Yeah! No, no, no. It, it could be much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, um, anyway, Brandon's like, well, Brandon's kind of skittish. That just reminds me, though, if we had rerolls from last time, does that work for this, no. or will it go to the next no, game? No, next game. Okay. The same is gonna ask. Gonna yeah, ask. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Brandon is like I said, really he's kind of a skittish guy. Um, your good friend Mark Macklin. You, your friend jerk. is Mark Macklin, right? Uh, I believe so. Jerk. I don't have a friend. Listen. Mark Macklin was somebody's friend. Well, I don't like him. You don't like him. Okay, he's there. He's a jock. He Ugh. knows you. Um, so if you're not friends with him. Uh, he would at least kind of be like when you say that he's you know he's totally the bro guy too. So you two are like, eh. um, he's like you know these guys suck. These all they just they're terrible, and I wish we still had a football team. And I don't know why I'm going to school without a football team. It sucks and. And I really wish I had some Red Bull, and I want to leave, and it's going to be a late night because this is a night game. And we're going to be, like, on that stupid bus with that dumbass smoker bitch of a driver, and I just can't believe I have to, like, be in this situation. It's, it's really sucks. And, uh, um, you know, Brandon's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, okay, <sighs> good. Um, Guys, guys, it's going to be fine. We're going to kick their asses, and then we'll just party on the bus on the way back. Come on. It's not going to be that, that, that big a deal, Mark. Okay. I hope so. I did bring a lot of, like, I bought a lot of refreshments for the ride back, so. Right on. Is right Mark, on. Mark Rich? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's a stereotypical, him. like, bro jock dude. Um, uh, as you guys are sitting there, um, like, uh, Tasha's your best friend. Tasha's sitting next to you, um, and she's just like you. Jason Wong, you know, he's kind of a geeky guy. Um, you guys both have aspirations to get into, like, MIT or something like that. Um, uh, and then there's uh, Tim Rails, who knows both of you guys. He's kind of the geeky guy, too. You guys are in a clump. Like, you know, your typical, we'll sit up here while the, while the others are down there. Um, um, you know, and we'll get more into to the rest of the crowd as we, as we go along. So um, you guys have a conversation, and then the game is over, and you get in the, the bus. Did, did we win? Uh, you actually, let's see, roll... Roll a six side for me, Michelle. One, two, three, you won. Four, five, six, you did not. Come on. Come on. Go Terriers. Uh, won. So you did not win. No. Oh. You said one, two, three, oh, we won. You won then. Okay. Right? Yeah, I think yeah. I did. Sorry. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Megan said, ah, and I was, what did I? <laughs> I had like a senior moment for a second. I'm sorry. My brain did not work. Um, so you guys did win. Yeah. And so uh, Brandon, it all worked out. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> good. I'm glad. Maybe maybe we'll do good this year. I don't know. Um, you guys get on this on the bus, and you all have these huge, 
you know, like this cup kind of situation. <laughs> Thank you for bringing a prop. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I planned it. And, and it's, a, it's, it's OSU. There's, there, it's OU. 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 Yeah. OU. There's, uh, everybody's got their big cup. Um, they're all, uh, most of you got mesotonic uh, cephalopod, cephalopod tubs of, of you know, beer. beverages. No, not beer. Um, and you're passing around Vodka? like hard, hard liquor oh, and I putting wow. hard liquor into there. It's all ever clear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, you guys. Uh, I'll tell you a story about that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody has an ever clear oh, story. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's actually about ever clear. Yeah. The, like, band. No, the band. And then it's bad. <laughs> so um, you guys start out on this bus and, and the professor's up front. And the bus driver st starts up. Now, usually, you guys are in a much better bus. It's one of those kind of, you know, luxury like deals. Yeah, like a coach bus, totally. But this time, you got stuck with like the ancient school bus. School yellow school bus. Yellow oh, no. school bus. It's like you're Story in high life. school all over again. <laughs> and um, but it's pretty big. There's no air conditioning in its nice. main, you know, in its New England in, in October. So it's kind of cold. Oh, well, um, I could do. And there's, like I said, 18 of you kind of sporadically spread out. Um, and you start off. And everyone's talking and, and having a good time. Um, and as you're traveling down the road, slowly, you guys fall asleep, all of you. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, you're having different dreams or no dreams. You've, you know, you, you just kind of doze off into, uh, into the uh, abyss of, of sleep. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. Um, Suddenly you shake awake. You just you wake up really quickly. Um, something is off, and you look around and uh, my hair first. Your hair, yeah. <laughs> Check your hair. That's what it looks like. First of all, you're not moving. Second of all, everything outside is almost pitch black, and it, it's it's raining. So, <laughs> it's raining, and you notice the bus driver isn't up front, and the hood of the bus is up. That's <laughs> bad. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Everybody else is, like, sleeping, and... You also don't see the professor either. I sometimes I write to this track. <laughs> I wake up, Rick. I believe it. <laughs> Rick. Rick. What? Uh, what? What? What's going on? Something weird is happening. Uh, how come we're stopped? We're not home. Well, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, like. Remember. I don't know. They're in the East Coast. So I know. She them, could be from the West. <laughs> pull the Valley Group could be back. The Thank you. <laughs> she could have come from California. But, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. Her, her parents were going to go there because it's a prestigious school. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah, you look around. You don't see the bus driver. You don't see the professor. And it is pretty dark outside except for the ever occasional flash of lightning. I mean, do you, what's the last thing you remember? I remember we were all partying, and then all of a sudden we were asleep. Uh, yeah, just nodding off uh, on, on the way home after, after that game. Yeah. And that was great. Um, I tell you what, stay here. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look outside. OK. As you're going out, um, uh, <laughs> as you <yeah. laughs> thunk. Um, Good night, everyone. <laughs> that was a great was a 10 minutes. Era. As you come out of the bus, um, there's a crack of uh, lightning. And you see a, a huge house about 20 or 25 yards away, just up the driveway a little bit. Um, 
with one huge cyclopean um, <laughs> tower uh, kind of jetting up into the sky with a, a really bizarre um, like a weather vane on the top when it flashes and then it's, it's dark again. Um, you kind of are looking around and the rain's coming down pretty hard. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, so I'll call out for uh, Kim and for Professor Gill. Okay. Um, at this point, you hear other people, sh you know, waking up and kind of saying, what the fuck? What's, what's going on? People looking out. Uh, you don't hear anything except for the rain and the, uh, and the thunder. Okay. I want to take a look at the, uh, at the open engine then. Okay. See if I can figure out what's wrong. Okay, so you go around the, uh, the side, and uh, uh, you have mechanics, right? Yep. So um, do you want to spend any points, or do you want to hold on to your points and hope that it's a low enough thing that you can do it? Um, I'll, spend a, I'll spend a point. A point? Okay, everybody close their eyes. I'm going to let Chad oh. know what they're getting. This is what he has to roll to make this. So he just spent a point. You can't really see it. You can't see it? Yeah, you want to put, put it on, 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 on your top. here? Yeah. I mean, dice. So that's what they have to roll. Great. All right, go for it. So roll your six-sided. Cool. Yeah, you look at it and um, uh, just mark down that you spent that point. Yeah. Um, you look at it and the first thing you notice is uh, there seems to be a few cords missing and uh, a spark plug. Someone had, had, it looked like they were working on the engine and just stopped midway. Like they were, uh, they just stopped before they were finished. Does it? <laughs> so hard not to use meta, uh, meta knowledge. Um, <laughs> Uh, I look underneath, see if they dropped any of the, the tools and spark plug underneath the engine. Uh, no. Um, what kind of investigation uh, skills do you have again? Just so I can um, tell automatically from what you get. Let's see. You've got law. Down at the bottom look, the yeah, they look more. Yeah, I don't really have any technical skills. Okay. Uh, most of my stuff's interpersonal. All right, cool. So um, you're looking around. You don't see any spark plug. And... Uh, um, the mud, like um, the mud is underneath, you do notice this, the mud underneath the um, bus is still, you know, really wet. It's not dry at all. So you haven't been here for all that long. Um, it's, uh, it's only been recently. You, you do see what looks like um, footprints uh, filling up with water. Uh, going away from the bus, but like I said, it's pitch black out. All right. Um, going away from the bus, are they headed towards the house? Yes. Okay. There's also the road that the bus came in on. Every once in a while, you see the, when the lightning strikes, you'll see like a building, a couple of buildings down the road, down the hill. You guys seem to be on top of some kind of hill. Okay. Uh, so I'll come back into the bus and go, guys, I, 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 I can't find Kim or uh, Professor Gill. Uh, looks like there's a problem with the engine. There's spark plugs missing and some footsteps going off towards the building over there. Are the spark plugs on the ground or anything? I didn't see anything, no. Do we have any cell reception? Nope, no bars. Uh, maybe if we go up to the building, we could get some cell reception. Or maybe there's a phone and we could call somebody. Do you have a flashlight or anything? Well, on my phone. And you looked under the bus? Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys all have your phones. Um, let's see real quick. Uh, let's take our phones and give you charge. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Everybody look at their phones right now, and that's the charge level I you brought have. a battery oh, pack. No. Yeah. Can I use that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I put in my bag, too. Uh -huh. got I'm at 63. 96. You're at 63, you're at 96. No, I'm at 92. 81. So you guys are not doing bad as long as, and there's, there's a lot of have, you. We don't have a reception? 
Uh, no, there's no bars. <laughs> Put on airplane mode. I don't want it to run out. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Some guys in the Batteries back playing you know. Pokemon. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing, yeah. dumbass? Yeah. Stop it! There's a lot of spooky types <laughs> here. <laughs> All ghost types are on here. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot. That guy's gonna die. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, so you guys have decent, um, decent power, and like I said, besides you and the two other people who are missing. Um, all together, there were 18 people all together, so you're looking at 12 other people um, that are with you. Um, some are like, I want to stay on the bus, I don't want to go anywhere. Some were like, okay, let's go. Uh, who, do all four of you want to go up to the Yeah, to the I gotta find a I wanna, cell phone. I want to go check out and see, the, uh, see where these people went. I don't, I don't think, yeah. uh, you know. I don't think Rick really knows what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. I've watched a lot of uh, Law and Order, so I know. How to <laughs> <laughs> go down. The, all the okay. Netflix marathons. Yeah. So exactly. paid off. Yeah. <laughs> Dan uh, Riss, who is in the very far back of the oh bus. God, not this guy. Dan is not happy. He's like, "Fuck, we can't. We shouldn't leave the bus." I mean. Everybody learned that in like in like Boy Scouts. I mean, you don't leave. You don't leave this point if you're lost. And we don't. I we don't even. It's 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 only like 11:30. It's gonna keep being dark for a while. We we so we you shouldn't go spend anywhere. Spend the night on the bus. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You're Look right, out Dan. There. Great. You stay here. Everyone else. You, you know what? You're in charge of the bus. Everyone else who wants to go up to the house. Come with me. Yeah, I think okay. that's a good idea. So I'm going to tell you guys who exactly is going God, to stay. I can't stand that guy. So Dan is staying. You don't have to write this down. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Uh, uh, Juan is going to go with you. Willow's going to go with you. Willow. Uh, Rose is going to go I'm with you. Buffy. <laughs> Jason is staying. So Jason Wong is staying. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jason. He's probably the one playing Pokemon Go. Mark yeah. is going to go. He had to absolutely. <laughs> I know anything yeah. about Jason. I think, I think all four of us, all five of us would be playing Pokemon Go more than likely. <laughs> um, Tim is going to stay. Uh, Edgar. Da, da. And Brandon, the nervous guy, is totally going to stay. Okay, so. Are any of my friends going? One, I two. Mean, besides, uh, besides her? No, yeah, besides not really. All right. One, two, three, four. So you guys have like eight people going with you up to the house. And eight the rest, including us? Uh, eight, eight beside you. So oh, 12 all together. Yeah. yeah so four. let me make is, sure. Is it okay. raining so heavy that I can't light a, light a cigarette? Yeah, absolutely. It's raining pretty hard. Is it raining too heavy to take my phone out and use it as a light to look around? Yeah, not without really. I mean, the only way he was able to turn it on was the fact that okay. he was under the yeah, hood of the bus. The hmm. It's coming down pretty hard. Well, All right. we can walk with the lightning. Just yeah. wait, you know, go as far as we can see. All right. Um, Rick, you didn't see any tracks or anything from, from where the professor would have been standing or the bus driver or anything? It looks like their uh, footsteps go up towards the house. Okay. I, I assume they probably went up there to get a, you know, make a call or something since cell reception down here is crap. Yeah. Do we know when they went up there? I mean, does anybody know how long they've been gone? I was asleep. No, we just Everybody woke was up asleep. And everyone yeah. was asleep. Well, we should probably go check on them. I mean. All right. The yeah, that sounds that sounds like a yeah. really good idea. We need to at least call a mechanic, right? I mean, I know you. I mean, you could you could probably fix it, right? If we had the right parts. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. If we if we had yeah. the right if we had the right materials, but there's stuff missing. I, I can't do anything. It's not like I can ring up a phone to be a spark plug. Yeah, we really gotta be able to call people. I say we go to the house. Let's go to the house. All right. Okay. So you guys. Uh, do you do anything special like hold each other's hands or to make we sure you don't lose really each close. other? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stick so really close to, to Brenda. Yeah, I'll stick real close to Rick here. Okay. <laughs> and you'll stick well, close to yourself. We'll be a chain. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're in high heels, just so you know. I can manage. You're fine. All right. <laughs> so you're making your way across. I, I worked with a gal who used to come to work every day and she could sprint in those things. Ow. Yeah. 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 Oh. It's, you just, it's, it's like walking across rice paper or something. It's like I don't know. very short Achilles. <laughs> yeah. Right there, very. 
So you guys, every time the lightning hits, you go a few more feet closer and uh, it takes you a little while. Um, every once in a while you, you see, you, you, your eye tricks you. You, you, you think you see something in the woods moving, but it's probably just the wind or, or something. There's, there are still autumn, autumn leaves holding on for dear life as you know, fall slowly slaughters them all for the winter. Um, you may, <laughs> um, you, uh, you finally get to the porch and, uh, this is a, a very old house. It's been here for a long time. Um, and the front door is, uh, really sturdy, like a sturdy looking door, but the, the, the hinges are just askew a little bit like it it's it could easily fall off at any point does it look like anybody lives there not for a long time the the windows uh, some of the windows are broken out some of the windows are uh have large um you know boards across them uh you see one place where someone put knife marks in the uh in the front of the door, like on the door jam, that says, you know, 1973 party, you know. Um, like kids from some college partied here a long time ago or whatever. Um, you see like just graffiti like that. Um, what do you guys want to do? Are um, we under the uh, overhang of the porch? Yeah. So I can take my phone out? Yeah. Can I take it out and look around with the light? Yeah, okay. I shine mine in the window. The broken um, window. I'm gonna bang on the wall next to the door and shout out for uh, for the bus driver and the professor. Okay, so uh, you're looking around and you see some uh, muddy footprints mm -hmm. on the porch, and they go into the the house. Like two pair? I uh, no, just one. Just one. Um. Can I tell if they look like the professors, like his Oxfords, or like bus driver or combat? You, or you look at them for a second, and uh, um, do you have like, uh, what investigation? I have an investigative procedure. Okay, cool. Um, that's all you need, which is cool. <laughs> what I like I about the system. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't look like the professor. He is a uh, very tall, slender guy. Mm -hmm. um, and you imagine that he probably has, you know, larger feet. These, these probably are the bus drivers because she's a little bit more stout, kind of, you know, shorter. So, I think only the bus drivers here. I don't, I don't see the professor's footprints, but you can see the, the bus drivers. All right. So I'll, I'll. Like I said, I'll bang on next to the door and shout out, see if she's in the building. One of the uh, one of the pieces of glass on a on a window not far away falls down and breaks because oh. when you when you hit on the thing and you go, you know, hey, and uh, no silence. She should be inside. Her tracks go inside. Maybe we should go check inside. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Open the door, turn on the flashlight on the phone. Okay. So you guys click on your flashlight and you go inside. Are there any light switches or anything? Uh, yes, there are. Um, one second. There's all these ghost types and for some reason a tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the rain. Yeah. <laughs> How right. are you getting Wi-Fi in there? <laughs> Well, right. she actually downloaded Google Maps because it helps extend the battery oh, for true. your Pokemon. So you guys oh. go inside, and uh, the rain is hitting the windows pretty hard, and, and this is a very creaky building. Uh, there, you can actually hear the sounds of uh, water dripping through uh, different parts of the ceilings, and everything's kind of moldy, and there's the smell of just ancient decay in the house. Um, no one has been here in, in quite a while. Can I yell out for the bus driver? Absolutely. Just say, Kim, kind of loudly. What are the other eight people anybody? doing? 
Uh, they're looking around. Um, they're behind you guys. You guys seem to be just kind of taking control. And so they're kind of following you. Um, but they, they start to disperse a little bit. This is a huge house. Where, where do um, Kim's Muddy boot prints? They stop right at the, and you look down and you notice that um, there's a pair of boots sitting next to, they're like, they're like um, uh, the boots you would wear over your shoes. Um, uh, like galoshes. Like galoshes. Mm. Okay. And so they're Wins. just sitting there next to the, next to the thing. There are galoshes in the, in the bus. Mm -hmm. But no flashlight. What a, what a bus driver. Well, you guys never actually yeah. said I checked for a flashlight. That's true. We could have looked. Hmm. Um, maybe we should split up and look around the house. Uh, or, or pair off, you know, in case well, yeah, it's a pretty obviously. rickety building and like one of us fell down or something. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good idea. I can come with you, Brenda. <laughs> so you're going to oh, well, split I, up? Yeah, but I was going to help Rick look around, but I mean, we can do that. Uh, sure. I... <sighs> Whatever. All, All right. right. So you more than likely like um, Rose, who is the cheerleading who's used to be a former cheerleader and um, uh, Willow, who is kind of your, kind of another crony and Anna are gonna go with you. Okay. Um, so the three of you guys would probably go with Nick, unless you guys are gonna fight over who's gonna go with who. Well, I'm definitely gonna go with Tasha at the very least. So Tasha's gonna go with you. I'm, I'm gonna go with Brenda, I mean, and Tasha. <laughs> I right. so well. Yeah, well. Who are you gonna pair together. off with? Yeah. <laughs> The it's all on you. Uh, the yeah. cheerleaders and the... the, <laughs> the, the Who's it going to be? <laughs> well, uh, you know... I always wanted to be one of them. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head with Brenda because she's yes. a source of stability for me. Okay, cool. A creepy ass place. <laughs> all right, cool. So, uh, like I said... i probably take Mac Macklin, whatever his name was. Uh, yeah, the bro Mark, dude. The bro dude. Mark, Mark yeah. Mark Macklin. Mark is going to go with you. So just so you guys know, I have the list of NPCs that's with them. And as the game is going on, if someone doesn't make it for some reason, they get a line through them. Wow. <laughs> Woohoo! Not a line. A line. Not that's a line. The worst out. Lined up. Lined up. The worst. So let me explain what the, the actual entryway to this place looks like. It is huge. Um, much like something you would see in Resident Evil 1, the original, like the big... We've got more inventory, though. Please tell me we can carry <laughs> no, more. No, you don't. Please. Not much. More. Oh, God. This is going to be you, bad, there are, there are random trunks everywhere that you can put stuff in. Magically, there's someplace okay. else. But, I guess but it's kind that. of that feel. It's that old Victorian, you know, dual staircase feel. There's a chandelier that's now on the ground. Um, you guys see a lot of um, beer bottles that are broken, um, of really old brand, uh, really old brand beers. Billy beer and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, you're kind of wow. looking around going, you know, Billy beer and like oh, the old Michelob and, and <laughs> Pabst Blue Ribbon, which no one should ever drink it's, Pabst Blue Ribbon. We tried that Miller original can. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky lager. It's all, it's all this like really kind of like Budweiser old kind of stuff. Um, and uh, uh, there is a doorway that goes that that is on the bottom floor and then two doorways on both sides and then there's tons of doorways up top so there's this place is big um i need to know which group is going where mm. um, do we already try we already tried the light switch i take it yeah it nothing nothing yeah. um i mean i guess we could go upstairs uh, let's let's stay off of the second floor if, if we can at first. I mean, if we don't find anything on the first floor, but this place is pretty old. I'm I'm not sure we want to. We could try the try trying the kitchen or something. Normally, people keep like flashlights and stuff in there. Maybe there's a garage. We can also check that. That'd be a good I, place. I don't think anyone's been here for a while. I mean, except for whoever left their boots. 
Yeah, but I mean, I don't think we're gonna find anything usable in the kitchen mm. if they well, clean up these not to broken eat, bottles. But I mean, I, and people keep flashlights in the kitchen. You know, <laughs> yeah. phone. Well, I mean, the bus driver isn't gonna come. Thirty-year-old flashlights. I'm sure those will still work just fine. But let's go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um. So if if they're going actually, like forty to mm. the left, we'll go Got to the bad. right. You know, like. <laughs> If they're going to the left or whatever towards the kitchen. And You're going the opposite the right. way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Um, so <laughs> which side? So are you going to left and you're going right? Is sure. that the kind of thing? And then sure. you're going to try to meet in the middle kind of situation? Yeah. Okay, because splitting the party in three is awesome. Um, no, it was two. I've the my, people the in the bus. People in the oh, the people bus. in the bus. Oh, right. well, that's their fault. I mean, yeah, it totally is. Totally so so we'll ask one of the one of the groups of our friends to like a group of three or four to stay right here. Okay. You know, right, right in the in yeah, the and, yeah. to yell if anybody comes up to the bus or anything. Okay, so like Juan uh -huh. and uh, and uh, really going to be a tow truck coming to the bus any minute oh, now. Of course. Oh yeah. yeah. Somebody Obviously. made a call. Juan, yeah. Mark, and uh, uh, Kayla will stay here. So those three people are going to stay here. All right, so you guys, I'll, I'll start with you and your friends. Um, you go to the opposite side. Uh, there's this old sitting room. Uh, it looks like it's been trashed a while back. Um, and uh, you see some kind of dark um, stain on the floor. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of water kind of dripping through uh, in different places, and, and there's definitely a smell of just stale air and moldy grossness going on. Um, what do you want to do? Um, I like, I turn on my phone flashlight and I just kind of shine it around and look okay. in general and shine it at the stain. And um, the stain looks like it's, it's been there for, for quite a while. There's these really old pictures on the wall um, of kind of these somber ocean, um, you know, vistas or, or landscapes. Uh, there's one really bizarre one uh, of a large island and then several like uh, whaling ships around it. Uh, and they they have these weird markings on them. Um, do you want to take a closer look? Yeah. Okay. Um, as you get closer and you look at it, you you kind of start feeling like you see the boats moving a little bit within the painting. Oh, my eyes are playing tricks on me. It's all this weird lighting in here. It's dirty. <laughs> this dirty, is a good time. Is the worst this is a good time to point out something about your character sheets that I actually forgot real quick. Ooh. Everybody has a risk factor. This is what makes them a horror character is that they are willing to do stuff because of this risk factor. So I think like you're curious. So if you go against your curiousness, it actually hurts your stability. And so um, I know it's, it's all right. Uh, yours factor. is risk factor. Thrill seeking. You're a thrill seeker. Okay. Um, I'm skeptical. You know, you're skeptical. skeptical of this whole. So yeah. Oh, I see. I see. So each person has a reason to go into the horrible darkness, basically. Okay. So yeah, the, they move, and you like shake for a second, and you don't. You, you, uh, you kind of look, and it, it looks normal, and suddenly um, Willow gives out this really high shriek. I turn the light towards her. What the hell? She's like, there's something, some, something outside. I saw a flash of light, and, and there's, it was standing there, and then not, it was, it's gone. Outside, outside the house? Outside the window. Outside the window? And she starts backing up from the window. Are you sure it wasn't one of the other people on the bus? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It just it freaked me out. Okay. I shine my light towards the window. You see a large handprint with these really long fingers 
uh, kind of indented into the the uh, the mud on the the window. The window's not completely clear, and so there's this like I guess sheen of of mud, dirt and mud, dirt yeah. and, mud and there's this big long handprint pressed. Can you give me a stability roll? <laughs> hmm. Do I want to roll high or low? Uh, for stability, just right off the bat, um, it's always going to be a four. The tricky part is, is how much you lose if you don't get it. Now, this is the beginning of the game, so you're probably not going to lose a lot of stability. And since you guys are learning, I'm you know, letting you in. Um, but like later on, if you see something really horrible, you know that you might want to spend points because you're going to lose a lot of points if you miss the roll. Jeez. So my stability is an eight, so I want to roll as high as I can. Your stability, that's your pool. Okay. So without using any points, you have to beat a four. Okay. Okay. If you want to use points, you have to tell me now. You can't. And if you use stability points, they're hard to get back unless the Elder Gods decide to be nice to you. Okay. <laughs> I'll spend one. Did that work? Yeah. Elder Gods are always nice. Yes. To us, not Wes. <laughs> I'll spend one. You'll spend one point. Okay, give it a roll. Oh, oh, oh. three. It's starting to bother you a lot. I mean, like, Will is your really good friend, and she's freaking out herself. And she's also from California, so she totally can do the whole valley girl thing. And, and she's just, she, there's this big handprint there, and it's, it's scary, and, and those fingers aren't natural. They're very long fingers. It's very, 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 very scary kind of thing. So you get a bit of a shock. You take two points. Two points. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's actually a point. It okay. bugs you but it's not earth shattering. So you are now down two points to six. Okay. All together. And that's where you gotta think about, okay, do I spend the points or do I not spend the points? Right. Okay, over to you guys. Uh, you've got the other group. Um, you go the opposite way uh, and it is a formal dining room. Um, it's got broken chairs, there's uh, there's this uh, weird looking um, table that's kind of been really broken and messed up. Um, each room has a chandelier. This chandelier uh, is still hanging by probably a thread. Um, and again, there's these large paintings with uh, nautical scenes on them. Hey guys, stay around the outside of the room. So if that thing falls, no one gets trapped. No one gets hurt by it. Smart. <laughs> okay. What do you guys want to do? Uh, we haven't heard her scream, right? I'm protected. Or if that hasn't happened yet. Um, so yeah. Willow. That has Willow. not happened oh, yet. Okay. Not happened yet. Um, I mean, I'd probably look around on the floor to see if we could find any other footprints or just any proof that anybody's been here? Um, you do Lisa? find a fresher set of footprints in this room. Um, and you also see that, um, uh, like I said, this time uh, it looks like a, like a clean boot print into the dirty carpet that's on the floor, the ancient dirty carpet. Does it seem to lead somewhere? Uh, it leads into the next room. Hey guys, it looks like there's some some footprints over here. Maybe we should check this room. Yeah, can I check it out since I'm so savvy? Okay, so footprint. do you just walk into the next room? No, okay. no, I'm I want to check out, out the the footprints. And stuff. Okay, okay, so yeah, same thing. It's okay. it's you just notice that they're brand new. Cool. All of a sudden, you hear this huge, like large shriek come from across the way. Across the way. Back, back towards the, the lobby, came. or, or, uh, yeah, or back from where you you came from, other side of the house. Um, should we go check that out? I'm gonna shout yeah. and see if they're okay. Wait, we have to go check that yeah. out. Uh, well, I mean, so yeah. right when you guys bolt through the door, um, the uh, you notice that only uh, Juan and um, Mark's no longer in the f in the foray. 
right? He's he's not there anymore. I thought Mark went with with. Uh, oh, did Mark go with yeah, you Mark guys? Yeah, Mark went with us. Yeah. Who stayed out Thank front? God. Juan. Juan yeah. definitely did. Yeah. Okay, so Juan's missing. Kayla and somebody mm. else. Okay, and Kayla Juan is the loneliest member. Yeah. So Juan and Kayla are missing. <laughs> the other two are still there. But and they're just like standing there. No, as soon as they hear the, you actually see them going oh. through the door mm -hmm. as you guys are coming out. But you notice that Juan and Kayla aren't there. Mm -hmm. You guys all get into the the room and tell them what you guys are doing, what your group is doing. Okay. Um, okay, so some weird stuff has been happening. We came in and there was this weird painting and things were moving in the painting and I thought it was just the light playing tricks on my eyes and then Willow screamed and then we took a look at the window because she said she saw something at the window. I shined a light on the window and look and I shine the light. Okay. Um, it, there's a handprint. Yeah. There's a really large handprint with long, really long fingers um, up against the, the wall. That's, um, I mean, that's probably someone outside trying to get our attention and like their fingers streak down when they touch the window. Like it's not a, it's nothing to worry about. Well, maybe we should go check it out. I mean, yeah. maybe there are more footprints out there and we could see if there was somebody or if it was one of us, we could at least see where they went, right? I mean. Caleb stuff's just, it might've been like. Uh, Kayla. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Um, it's hard when you have so many people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, who was with you guys. Okay. okay. Um, Sarah's like, well, what about the other two that were in the, the front? It could have been one of them. They could have went around the side and to scare you or something. Yeah, what about who is, who is standing there that's still with us? Um, right now, you guys have, um, let's see. Mark went with you guys, so Mark is there. No, Mark went with us. I know. Mark oh. went. Oh. Everybody's in the same okay. room right now. So oh, Mark is there. Um, Anna is there. Um, the people that are missing Anna. right now. Yeah, Anna's there. Kim is, uh, Kim is missing, <laughs> and Edgar, the professor. She hates. Um, Brandon is out in the bus. Jason's out in the bus. Of, of the people we left in the, the foyer, foyer. Yeah. there's two who are still with us. Who are still with you. Right. But of those of those two, uh, whoever they are, I want to ask, yeah, hey, what happened to Juan, Juan and, and, Kayla. and Kayla? And Kayla. They said they were just wanted to go look around and, you know, it was no big deal. Outside I or think inside? I think they went up the stairs. I think they're yeah. looking for a room. Uh. Uh, Gross. Should we check now? outside? <laughs> I mean, we could check outside, but the other oh, fresh boot print going into the next room, that's probably the bus driver. We should check both of them out, probably. I mean, at least, right? I, I, I'm going to shout up the stairs. Juan! Kayla! You hear a, another yell, this time obviously Juan. Uh, he screams out, come up here, quick! Oh, all right, we'll go. Okay. <laughs> we'll all of us go up the decrepit stairs. All at once? Yeah. yeah. All, all on the same step? All, all eight of you. <laughs> Everybody jump. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Live to Game is forcing Megan to switch her dice. Already? Oh, for I the game. Rolled. All right, Live to Game. Um, Woo. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought you had rolled already. Um, uh, well, too late. The whoop. cat's out of the bag. You have to change your dice. All right, all um, right. The gods don't like to be told what to do with their points. Uh, <laughs> fair, fair. That, is, that is fair. That is yeah. fair. <laughs> Here we go. So you get up to the top Here of the die. stairs, and uh, one, of the, one of the doors is slightly open. Um, and you see one in there. And he's what, what? What happened? He's breathing really heavy. He's like, I, something just, somebody just came in and, and grabbed Kayla, and they they went out they went out that door, and I tried, I tried to stop him. And as he's talking to you, you notice that that blood starts to just kind of go down his his forehead. Oh, are oh, you okay? Do you, you need? You gotta take care of well, that. Well, here, here, I I can help. Uh, oh, and, please. Uh, and he start he sneezes and this this blood comes down here. Oh. Yes. She he I 
It, it, Somebody give me, yourself, give me man. like a What's... jacket or, or, or something. We need to stop the flow of blood. Can I use medic on him? Yep. Uh, okay. How many points do you want to use, if any? I mean, we're just starting. <laughs> 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 Not like one that much. <laughs> Who is this guy? Even? <laughs> yeah. um, I'll use one. I'm, I, okay, wait. I'm nice to people. You're going to use one. All right, everyone close their eyes. One. Yeah, I'm going to use one. You're going to use one. One. <laughs> this is the number she has to be. <laughs> is it one? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> you should use three. Is I'm going to kill number? one really quick just to avoid that joke in the line. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, so that's four. So you're frantically like uh, looking around and trying to find what happened. And, and you notice that there is a large gash in the top of his head and uh, he's got like longer brown hair it goes down to like it's it's a little bit like yours but with more full on the side and it looks like there's some kind of uh, uh, cut uh, some kind of knife cut in the top of his head and it, it it's pretty deep and the, the blood is just starting to flow really fast at first it went down the back and now it's going and, and you're searching and he, he slumps over and falls to the ground and he starts to convulse mm. um, and you're doing everything you can to stop the blood but he dies oh oh my god oh my god oh my god I think he's dead I think he died I did everything I could no, what do you we did. do you did a good job um, <sighs> thanks well, what do we do what do we, uh, well first thing you do is make a stability check <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, you, need to ch you need to decide if you're going to spend any of your points or you're going to try to beat that four. Oh, okay. What's the decision? I'm not going to spend any. Let's do one person at a time. I'm not going to spend uh, any. We'll start with Megan. Okay. Yes! Woohoo! So you're fine. You're like, you know, people die. Yeah, I'm, this, this um, is what it takes to be a doctor. So I'm working. I'm not going to spend any. Ooh. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you lose two points. Of stability? Of stability. <gasps> That's a lot. You have 60. I have eight. I'm very stable. Wow. I don't have yeah. many to spend, so wow. I'm not spending it. Yes. One of them has, one of you guys has higher health. I think That's it's you, Nick. That's a one? That's a one? Yeah. Ooh. There's yep. a six. Ooh. So you did not spend? I did not spend. So you take two points. Already, Francesca Blue is not doing well with stability points. Uh -uh. She's already lost a couple. Three <laughs> altogether, I believe. She ain't Stephanie, that's for sure. <laughs> no, she's not. Uh, Rick already has a problem with blood, so um, oh, no. he, <laughs> he took a couple steps yourself. back when this all happened and uh, lit a menthol. Um, but you can still smell the smell. Yeah, the uh, smell. The yes, smell. smell the smell. Yes, smell I, the smell. Yes, I know. I, I can still smell the blood. You can hear you the can smell. still smell the blood. But I'm really trying to drown her out with that menthol. Uh, I will spend spend a point. All right. Oh, no, it did not oh God! It just it reeks. It's oh, you guys, I need oh, I need a minute. Are you okay? Oh. Okay. So you uh, take just, two points. Just reminded me of something something bad. So one, so three total. Three, three total. That I spent. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so what do you want to do? Can I overcome my revulsion with this whole thing and kind of check out his head and see? Sure. What's yeah, so you start looking at his head. Yeah. You got your phone out, the two of you are looking at, yeah. you know, there's, you got blood on your hands. and um, It's a pretty deep wound straight in the, the top of the head. Um, so whoever attacked him must have been taller, uh -huh. or at least able to do like a, a long Can I tell hit. if it was like a slice or like an axe or like what? It looks yeah. probably like an axe in the top of the head. Oh shit. Okay. Someone really tall hit one on the top of the head with something sharp. I don't know, like an axe or. Well, maybe we should try to find Taylor. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But we shouldn't split up if there's no. some crazy person. Yeah, no, out no, there. we shouldn't split up. We should not split up at all. <laughs> Could we also try and find a weapon of some sort, just something so we can defend ourselves? If that's this a good, that's guy? a great idea. Yeah. There's really nothing in this room that you can see that would be useful as a weapon. Mm, there's probably something in the kitchen, but we can't go down to the kitchen while Kayla's in yeah. the next room, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess we should just keep looking then. What what kind of exits are there from this from this room? From this room, there's just the, the bathroom, 
and then there's a adjoining door to the next room and over. That's, the one, that's the one that Juan said the thing came through the the person or whoever. All right, and um, the other way. All right, I uh, I take a charge at that door and kick it open, and and yell, "Hey, asshole!" All right. So um, this is a pretty old place. When you hit that door, it's like Chuck Norris. It just flies off its hinges, kind of, you know, dust kind of goes up. Um, and the next room over is another, yet another bedroom. And uh, uh, all you notice is a shoe laying on the ground. Um, that's obviously Kayla's shoe. Nothing else there. No marks, no nothing. She's not in here. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Columbo. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, one more question. Can we, t- <laughs> can we tell anything that, I mean, can I tell if anything happened in the room? Um, like, is uh, there blood? <clears throat> There's no blood. Probably would have been easier before I disturbed all the dust and everything yeah, in the room, <laughs> but... <laughs> um, Generally, a procedure says you know, kick the door open when you walk right. in. But I'm clue hey, wise, she's in danger, and yeah, I had okay, to do something. Fair enough. Clue wise, this particular room looks um, like it was just uh, they just ran through it. There's probably a little bit of uh, you know uh, footsteps right next to where the shoe fell off, mm-hmm. um, but then it just goes to nothing. There's no other marks in here. Is there anything we can use for weapons they, in the room? It's all hardwood except for like the, the rug under the bed kind of thing. Weapon wise, I mean they've got candlesticks and Is stuff. there oh, better than nothing, yes. Yeah. Like a trap door or a secret door or something? Not in this room, no. Are there other doors in here? Can we like go through this room? Yeah, there's something? there's other doors to like uh, uh, to the hallway. But when you go through those as well, uh, Kayla's nowhere to be found. Stop playing with dice, Dom. Um, uh, what do you guys want to do? Maybe we should send like two people back to the bus and let them know there's like a fucking murderer. Yeah, we could. Something could happen to them on the way there. Well, at least send two people. I, I mean, don't want to go. Do you want to go? I don't want to go. I think we should well, stick together. What if What if all of us went back to the bus? Well, we we can't just leave we can't Kayla. Leave Kayla. Yeah. In the clutches of whatever psycho is out there. Do you really think Kayla is still alive? I hope so. You think she's dead? Well, there isn't blood well, everywhere. Look at Juan. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> now, Kayla is probably one of your friends. She's kind of the shy girl, so you would definitely be have vested interest. We have to find her. We can't just leave somebody. That's terrible. Yeah, she, she could be hurt. That's okay. I'll stick with you, Brenda. <laughs> yes, at least he's making sense. I mean, wow. if you want to go back to the bus, take a friend back to the bus and just tell them there's a murderer. Yeah, because, you know, two people walking back to the bus is way safe. None of this is safe anymore, obviously. Here, take a candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, who, who, who wants to go back to the bus? And who wants to help split up so we can find Kayla? I'm finding I mean, Kayla. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm finding Kayla, too. I'm your, friends are, Kayla. your friends will go back with you to the bus if you want to. Yeah, but there's only a handful of us, and there's There's no three way. of them, yeah. yeah. <sighs> yes, we're forced into staying. <laughs> okay, so you guys search through a lot of the upper floors. There's, you know, bathrooms and other, um, other bedrooms, and don't find Kayla anywhere. You don't find anything useful either? Well, like, what in particular, like, okay, imagine that it's, like, there might be... Uh, there are several fireplaces throughout, like so, fire so you might find a fire poker or something like that. Does anybody have any kind of cell service? We could try to call our phone. Has anyone gotten any yet? None. <sighs> uh, does anyone, I mean, I, I haven't, I doubt there is one, but has anyone seen a phone here? No, no, no but we could check the kitchen. For phone? I don't know, old houses, the phone's normally in the kitchen. I mean, we might as well check everywhere. And plus, we had that. We saw that uh, shoe print going into. That's true. Maybe we should go find that. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's where Kayla went. Okay. So you guys go down to the kitchen, uh, and sure enough, there's an old phone, um, old rotary phone sitting there. 
uh, and uh, you kind of notice that there's, you know, like I said, it, it looks like at some point way back when there was a party at, on the first floor. And um, there's a fuse box towards the back and a really old looking generator. Um, Maybe we can use that. You you know mechanics kind of, right? Could you get the generator started? Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, so you pick up the phone. Dead air. But it is on or just nothing? No dial tone. No so dial tone, nothing. Like plugged in? Can plugged I, in. Yeah. Could I unplug it and plug it back in? Sure, you do that. <laughs> Still not working. You guys like, why does nines take so long? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen these on TV before. But I won't. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. It's taking turns going. This is cool. I'm sorry you have a nine in your number. I'll never call you. <laughs> Get a real phone number. Um, so, what do you want to do? Do you want to take a look at the generator? Yeah, uh, I'll take a look at the generator and see if it's, um, you know, what kind of shape it is and if there's anything I can do to get it working. It looks like it's power. in. Uh, it's in relatively good. I mean, it's well made. Uh, it's a 4,000 watt uh, generator, so it would probably light up a good amount, like you know maybe a couple of rooms or whatever. And it's it's kind of jerry rigged into the panel, um, and they've done some really weird stuff. It doesn't look safe at all, um, but you might be able to get some power into the lines. Is there, um, so like I check, is there gas in the tank and, and everything? There is a, a, there is about like a half a tank left. It's okay. probably relatively old, but it's gas, so it should All be right. fine. Well, I'll pull the cord. I'm sure chat's like either saying gas doesn't go bad or gas does go bad. It does go bad. Does go bad. Yeah. And they're screaming right now. I'm just they're screaming. screaming. Uh, <laughs> Dom, can you ask, what? can you ask? They're, they're putting up. Oh. You're not listening. Now they're really screaming. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Gas goes. Yeah, what you have to about six months, skeletons. so you have to like <laughs> ro rotate through, or you have to add a, a stabilizer to it. Okay. So, get so, out of it. so um, yeah, this gas is pretty old. So more than likely, it's not going to work for you. But you being a well, let's make a roll to see if you know how to get this thing to go. Um, so, okay. do you want to spend any points or no? Um, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll spend two points because I think that getting lights on here would be pretty important. Okay, so everybody close their eyes. Chat, this is what he's got to make. It's like I'm a dealer or something. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, uh, so that's four. a four. Yeah, you just, you can't, it doesn't really make much sense. You're okay. looking at it. Mm. The, the, the gas in here is too old, it's not gonna fire. Like I'm, I'm pulling, but it just won't turn over. Could, Could take the gas out of the bus. It's a good idea. That, that might work. Okay. I mean, we could just pour out these canisters and use them to carry it back. Do we have anything to get the gas out of the bus? I'm sure we could find something around Suddenly here. Suddenly the phone rings. What? I'll answer it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Huh? Help me. Kayla? Uh, uh, help. help me. Kayla, is that Click. you? It, it was just, it was, it was somebody muffled and they were saying help me. Can I pick up the phone again and see if... Dead. That doesn't Did, make any sense. But it wasn't working before. <laughs> the phone wasn't working before, right? right? Nope. Can I use... I have occult studies. Uh, sure. In my investigative abilities, so... I do too. Can I, like... Can you aid in this game? Are those... <laughs> That's what I, I think occult studies, so though, enough, are... I think aren't those work. general? <laughs> No, or is investigative it? No. abilities. A yeah, cost cost okay, cool. Um, yeah, you you think maybe that uh, the two of you then uh, kind of get this idea of, well, maybe there's some kind of uh, supernatural, like a, a ghost or something else that's using the lines. Well, I have read too that sometimes when people are in, in serious danger, they can project out 
for help. Maybe it's that kind of thing. She's somehow reached the phone. Fringe science. Trivia, fringe science. Oh, it's you just have that's, trivia. That's, uh, that's oh, that's not part fringe of fringe science trivia. or something. Oh, okay. Fringe science. That's from the TV show. You just know science <laughs> from the TV show. Yeah, that's it. The fringe. That's oh, all. Okay. Which is a coat with a lot of little. <laughs> okay. That too. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> okay. So. Enjoy the veal. All right. Um, so yeah, it's just trivia. But but that would be pretty short range, right? So she's probably still in the house. What would be short range? I mean, I don't know how it works. Yeah. I just ghost think power. I read about yeah. it somewhere. Skeptic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, or maybe. Magic is short range. I mean, I've seen a lot of those ghost shows. I mean, maybe it's something like that. Well, we searched all, all the upstairs, right? Not yeah. really, not the entire I thing. thought oh, we, we did I don't know, thing. maybe like old you phones. You did a lot of that. You're on the same line, right? Maybe there's another phone, she's talking from that phone or maybe. something. That makes more sense. That, that does make sense, but so maybe we should try and find all the phones here? Yeah. I mean, I, we still just have to look around the whole place, I That's guess. That's true. Hey, we should look through these cabinets though and see if there's anything useful. Knife, lighter, I guess we already have a lighter. Well, we do have these <coughs> candles. I assume there, we have candlesticks. Maybe there's candles somewhere. So we yeah, can you can the find house. candlesticks and, and stuff. You're looking through, mm -hmm. and uh, you open up uh, one of the cabinets, and you see this pretty large skull just sitting there on the second shelf. Like a human skull? Yeah. Large for a human skull? or Pretty large for a human skull. Uh, guys, check this out. I'm going to pull it out of the cabinet. Whoa! Yeah, it's oh, pretty what? dusty. Whoa! That what are you pulling that out for? Well, I mean, I don't know. That's <laughs> crazy! Um, What's it doing in the cabinet? Is it real? <laughs> if I look at it, could I... Yeah, and that'd be an investigation biology? thing. Biology? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely real. So, okay, can I figure out if it's like... Human. Uh, yeah, human, man's, woman. Your best guess is that it is probably somebody with uh, gigantism or something like that. This this is not a normal size school. It's actually kind of, I mean, it's creepy, but it's also kind of cool. It's it, it's probably somebody who is like way bigger, you know, those people who, they're, they're like giants. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. But it's Do they like cool. being called giants anymore? I don't know. I don't, I don't, probably not. It's like it's you can't use PC. the word midget anymore? Yeah. <laughs> that... I don't feel like there's many, but I don't know. It's a what? little different. I'm just um, saying. I have, I have history and the abnormal skull and the weird house out in the middle of anywhere. Does okay. that, does that, do I remember anything about uh, something that might have happened here or? Um... And his okay, um, okay, cool. History. I also have history. Me All right. too. We all took class together. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've heard about uh, usually in smaller towns, um, they would have uh, like freak shows or stuff going from town to town. Um, sometimes they'd go to the bigger venues, but they they go around and and have people who were really tall or, you know, half man, half woman kind of thing um, uh, back in the 20s and 30s. Um, so you well, looking and at- in the 90s. Yeah, in the <laughs> 90s. Um, but if you're looking for like really long, like this skull looks pretty old. It doesn't look newish or even within the last 30 years. But, but nothing like associated with the house? No. Okay. Do so you think we should try to siphon the gas then? Without, do you think that would work, Rick? Uh, I think if we can carry it up there, if we can find a hose or something uh, and siphon it out and replace the gas that's in there, we might be able to get the lights at least running and wait out the storm or help us find Kayla. So... I mean, I feel like... We should keep looking for Kayla while someone else does that. It's not like the bus is going to be empty when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. I forgot one needs a mark. Beep. A line. A line. Dun, dun, dun. Wes is like, yes, one less person to deal with. One less person. <laughs> Uh, one less person. <laughs> oh, one less person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
We're, hey, we got go. more coming. Just you wait. <laughs> All right. So what's the plan, guys? You need to make a decision. Well, I either, I mean, we got to, Kayla, if Kayla's hurt, I mean, she could have minutes. I mean, her time is ticking down. That's true. Maybe I should stick with Brenda. I don't really know anything about, <laughs> <laughs> about mechanics. So maybe uh, you could siphon some gas and see if you get the power on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need someone to come with me and help carry the, the gas cans. There's a couple of gas cans here. And we need someone to stay here. We need to form like two parties. One to stay here yeah. because right now some weird stuff's going on. So we need to stay in big groups for our own safety. I'll stay here. I have to find Kayla. So I, I need some people to come with me. Okay, so let's write down who's staying where. All right, so... Mark is going to go with you. Okay. So I'm going to say that's Team Go. Team um, go. Pokemon. Uh, Tasha's going to stay here. So that's here. Um, Kayla is missing. Tim is on the bus. Anna is going to stay here. Ugh. Okay. She doesn't want to go anywhere else because, you know, that's scary. Who do you Edgar, stay, stay with bus? Anna. Uh, Mike and Rick are going. Oh, I don't know who's on the bus. Uh, Tim, uh, Tim's on the bus. Brandon's on the bus. Um, and Dan is on the bus. Um, Edgar, your professor, is missing. Kim is missing. Uh, Brandon uh, is on the bus. Mm -hmm. Who is... Uh, uh, Samuel, you're you're gonna stay here. Yeah. So you're staying here. Uh, you're staying here, Megan mm -hmm. or Brenda. Uh, Francesca, what are you gonna go with uh, him or are you gonna stay here? I'll probably stay with Anna. So. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes a banana is just a banana, Anna. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it sounds like just uh, Mark and myself are gonna um, grab the gas cans and go down to the bus. Well, Sarah's going to go with you as well. So Sarah's going to go. And then Willa, Willow will stay here. And Rose is going to stay here as well. OK, cool. So now I've got everybody marked down. I know where everyone's going to be. So Mark, um, Nick, and Sarah are going to take the gas can, because there is a gas can. Uh, and you're going to go to the bus. Um, now, you don't have a hose. Do you want to go out to the shed? Uh, yeah, let's look around the outside of the building and see if there's, you know, coiled up hose by a spigot or something. Okay. Or um, um, if we have to, we'll go to the creepy old shed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, the creepy old shed. So you guys go outside, and um, you... Uh, like I said, the, you can see the bus and the flashes of lights every once in a while. And, oh, uh, and as we go outside, I go, look, guys, just stay in the foyer right now. If anything weird happens, run back to the bus. Just get out of this place. We'll let the cops deal with it. OK. Uh, so yeah, you go around the corner. You look around the house. Um, do you go all the way around? Uh, yeah. OK. When you're on the back side of the house, um, uh, Mark goes, hey, man, look, look, look up there. Way up in the, the large tower, you see a, uh, a light, a, just a quick flash. It doesn't look like it's a, a candle. It looks like it's an iPhone or something. And then it goes out just as soon as all of you look up. As you go all the way around, you don't see any um, hose. But there is a garage and shed not far away. OK. Um, if we come all the way back to the front again? Yeah, you go all the way around the set, unless okay. you want to stop there and look up more. No, as, as, we, as we come back around, I uh, check in with the people in the foyer. I go, did, did anyone leave? Nope. No. Nope. Because we, uh, we saw a flash, like, a, like an iPhone or something. Maybe that's up Kayla. Up, <laughs> up, in the, up in the tower. We should check it out. We should check and see if it's Kayla. I agree. We can hold off on the, on the lights for now, use our phones or use those candles, and, and just 
go go get her, make sure she's okay. Yeah, let's do okay. that. Okay. So you guys rush up. Okay. So on the first, there's there's three floors all together. Um, the first is the first floor with the big stairs. The then on the end of the building is two more staircases that go up on both sides, and then the final is this large, really odd placed tower in the middle. The tower is built around this large stone and the the it has circular staircase going up and the stones have all of these markings in them deep markings carved in with purpose um, they're all um, you're our mathematics person correct mm -hmm. you notice as you're looking at this that the um, markings are all perfectly positioned from each other and they all kind of do a spiral up thing so when you're reading them you're reading them like this mm -hmm. and it's different it's different numbers and everything else um it goes with the staircase I it guess goes up with up. the staircase like this but how big is the stone it's probably a, a little bit bigger than this table all the way around it's it's relatively big it goes way up oh. um it's like a pillar of something so as we go up, can I like record all the numbers in my phone? For a little bit, but you're running, you're already running, you're, you're probably down 20%. So whatever yours was, put it down 20. I don't know. Well, it was 92, so. So now you're, you know, at whatever, 72. 72. So you guys make your way up. We, using uh, occult studies, mm -hmm. do, is there any significance to these symbols? Um, it, it, the symbols you notice seem to be uh, ancient, like uh, some of the symbols look like they might be um, ancient markings from uh, tribes that were here before uh, basically Europeans landed. Okay. And they are... Um, they look like warning markers almost, like kind of. This is the same. That yeah. I'm recording. Okay. Yeah. Uh, trivia help at all? <laughs> um, not in this particular case, no. Okay. But that's basically what you glean is that these are Native American uh, carvings from the tribes that were in this area in this place beforehand. Okay, so that was kind of more history than occult. Well, or? kind of a but the, their magic. They're okay. kind of both, because okay. they're magic uh, warning, like glyphs almost, like uh, protection glyphs, if you will. Okay. I suppose research won't help unless I. Not research down. is more for like a library. Yeah. Like you go in a library and you find stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I guess let's get up these stairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So you get up the stairs, and there's a door, and you hear crying on the other side. Kayla? Stay stay out. Just stay out. Don't come in here. Is Wait. someone in there with you? No, just just don't come in here. Kayla, Kayla ba back away from the door. We're coming to get you. Okay, so you go in? Yeah. Okay. So it's a it's a relatively large room, probably about a little bit bigger than this, and Kayla's uh, all the way on the other side. The top of the stone is sitting there, um, and you see several skulls. Um, uh, on top of it, uh, some of them fresh. She's standing, she's like up fresh against the heads wall. Or fresh skulls. Fresh uh, heads, I'm sorry. She's against, way against the wall and she's shivering. Um, and she's got like, like, looks like bloody prints on her arms and stuff. And uh, she's shaking and she seems to be holding something. Uh, I'll probably go over to her just to try. As soon as you get halfway across the thing, she pulls out this gun and goes, Stop! Don't come near me. Just stay back. Kayla, it's it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're no, it's not okay. You don't know what's in here. This place is terrible. You, this, It's too late already. Just late stay away. What? It's... Just, just you haven't seen just what I see. Come with us, and we'll go back to the bus. Can you don't I use understand. My, my shrink ability to try to talk her down. I'm sorry, but this only has one bullet. No, no, no! No, go! No! No! Oh, no. oh my God! Oh, oh. oh my God! Oh. oh God! Not again! 
She blows her brains out. Uh, Stability checks, everyone. Yeah. All yeah. right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, mm. So do you want to spend? That's the question. Oh. You have to beat a four. I'll use one. All right. Yes. Nice. So you only take one oh, point off. Five. Okay. I'll use one. Yes. Ooh! <laughs> you have so much stability. I know. Yeah. It's so stable. How many do I lose there? Um, Let me double check. I used to have the book, but lost it. Probably someone borrowed it, and now all I have is my PDF. So I have to rebuy oh, the book. You always uh, have so, PDF. chat, if you borrowed the book, it's your we're, fault. We're waiting for you to bring Send it back. Send it back. Um, let's see. I'm going to say this was particularly grim, um, uh -oh. just like acid damage in second edition. Um, I'm going to say oh. you take four yeah. points oh on top of the points that you Oh, Ouch. man. Yeah. So if you miss this, you take four, people. <laughs> oh, great. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, well. OK. Your I'm, turn. I'll, I only have four. Yeah. Would you oh like God. a science die? I have Sorry. one, and it Sorry. didn't do me any good last time. It's more random. I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't like I'm gonna, this die. I'll spend one. You're gonna get a new die. I'll spend one. <laughs> oh, oh no! five points. <gasps> so now you're negative. I now you're negative, negative one. So does that mean when she rolls, she has to take? Oh, like it's like. Well, let me tell you well, what it is. She can't spend anymore now. Right. Apparently. <laughs> okay, so. Maybe. At negative, at zero to negative five, you are shaken. You can still do your job, but you're distracted. Mm. Uh, you can spend points uh, from pools of your investigation abilities. <gasps> Difficulty numbers in general all um, increase by one. So whenever you do something, I have to increase it by one. Yikes. Wow. Oh, man. Jeez. Suck. Yikes. Um, so, die stuff to roll. Yeah, she's down to negative one. That's bad. Your news. turn. Yeah. I will you tell gotta... you what to do with your point, Elder God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to smile at the I would like to point out. Sweetly. I want you to. I want you to show them what your shirt says. <laughs> yeah, I'll serve the point. I felt that this was uh, apropos for the evening. <laughs> Her expendable. Yeah. All right. So All right. Uh, I'm gonna spend two points. And uh, which which one of you two guys want it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> not you. Uh, we're doing well. You. Wow, we're those both sucked. Ooh. All right, so I lose two and then four. Yep. So I'm negative one also. Ooh. Jeez, one's coming unglued. Yep. Woo! We need help in here. So. Yeah, this uh, was a pretty grisly just smell. Like Reno, just yeah. like Reno. Oh, God. You smell Reno. blood. Fill the, the smell of blood fills the air. Oh, my God. Uh, um, can uh, can we look at the heads on the, to see if they're, if, we, anyone if any we of them nope. are familiar? <laughs> 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 Nick's all like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. See you later. Uh, yeah, Fuck Rick, you all. I'm going home. Rick, Rick is as outside of the door of the room because he can't bear the smell. All right. He's just smoking a storm. Okay. So I'm, I'm just right in the hallway right in front of the room. Okay, so Brandon, the nervous guy, his head's on there. <gasps> oh, um, the bus people. Tim's head's on there. Oh, no. Um, and that's it. Oh, Dan's okay. Dan and Jason are not there. Oh my God, th th these are the people who stayed on the bus. There was someone else on the bus though, right? He's not here. M do we? N Dan? Yeah, should we, what do we do? Should we go and try and s get him? I don't know what to do anymore. Of we found Dan's Kayla. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> we found Kayla, but that. <laughs> That's fucked up. God damn it. <laughs> One hey, person I'm I play, hate. I'm playing yeah, I know. <laughs> it's fucked up. There isn't, there isn't even a silver lining. <laughs> can I, um, as grisman as it sounds, can I uh, retrieve Kayla's phone? I might need the batteries. Yeah, you can. Go over and pick up her fan phone. Can I, can I give uh, non-character table talk? Sure. 
Take the take the gun, gun just yeah, in case. I, was thinking that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll pocket the gun too. Okay. Uh, so, so there was only one bullet. <laughs> well, maybe there were more bullets. No, or maybe there's there's more only bullets. one. Yeah. Or, or maybe you can throw use, the gun at or somebody. Or you can use, yeah. threaten someone with it who yeah. doesn't know there are no bullets in it. Sure. Now you check her. Do you check out like she had large handprints yeah. on her? So I mean, I want to I've investigate. Do they look like the long fingered to. handprints? Yeesh. Yeah. Ugh. And uh, you notice that she had uh, some bruising around her neck, like uh, someone picked her up by her neck. What uh, what time is it now? <laughs> <laughs> it is like midnight. Yeah. All right. Oh, fantastic. Um, Six hours. We look around the rest of the room. Is there anything else in there besides the top of that pillar oh. stone thing? Uh, no, that's it. I want to start um, looking at the numbers that I, I typed the in my The Indian, uh, the numbers? Yeah, yeah, the, the numbers that were, or whatever it was the that Indian I was recording. Things? The Indian things? Yeah, I want, to, I want to see if I can solve this problem, because I'm stressed out and math makes me feel better. So. Okay. Um, I'm stressed out and math makes me feel better. Do you guys want to like spend like an hour cause, or, or so in this room barricaded in? Because if uh, I remember correctly, you might be able to, let me see. Let's see, but it is stable. Uh, maybe another room that doesn't have the corpses of our friends. <laughs> yeah. um, if you find a safe space, um, you might be able to get some of your, uh, like a point or two back. Oof. I mean, the, the space is safe. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Nobody's gonna kill us in here. Well, I something guess. brought her up here in the first place, and, it's and not something brought and it's the, not here, the skulls Nick. in here, which means it can get in. Yeah, so through the door. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's another way in. Maybe we Do should. Do you check live the in room. this house? Do you know? Well, are you suggesting something can teleport into the room? No, but maybe there's no, a secret but, passageway yeah, there or another way to get in. We were all in something. the foyer and in the various rooms, and nobody saw anything. We didn't see this thing come up here. So maybe there's servants' passages or some other way that they're getting into this room. Well, well maybe we should. And I personally don't want to sit here in the smell of everyone else. <laughs> no, no disrespect meant to Kayla or to anyone else here, but this is revolting and it's making me sick. Maybe we should go somewhere else, but um, maybe we should check this room out first. But maybe, maybe Rick, maybe you can you stand outside the door. Yeah, and we can uh, try and I don't know. Is there a place you guys remember that seemed safer here? Uh lock ourselves in one of the bathrooms, I guess. The um, kitchen seemed okay, except, you know. <laughs> Just any... I know, is there 12 of you well, left? There's like 10 yeah, of us 10 left of us down, left. Maybe. No, Three, less four, five, six, well, seven, eight. No, there's more of you. Yeah, there's 12. Is there any uh, oh, there are rooms? Ten of us. Oh, Kayla's gone. I forgot to mark her off. Yeah. It just had <laughs> one door, uh, one entrance. Do you remember? I mean, I feel um, like every room had multiple doors. Yeah. Um, you might be able to find one of the corner bedrooms with only like two doors instead of three and barricade one of barricade the doors. We should, we should look at this statue thing now, or this yeah. rock. Yeah. I want to keep trying to figure out this thing. This problem. Yeah. Okay. So you start working on the problem and, um, uh, you, as you're looking at the numbers going around, you notice that a few of them have been altered, have been changed, so that the warning glyphs um, no longer do the job that they're supposed to do. Hmm. Um, and so the problem isn't something that, um, okay, uh, if you have shrink, who has shrink? I do. It, you can make a shrink roll and you can help them get back uh, a little bit, like restore panicked characters to a state of calm. Um, you know, so what I'll say is if you want to try, you can give them, uh, you can try to make a roll. I, I, I won't tell you what the, uh, the number is. You can either make, you can either spin points or not, but um, with each person, if you get their roll, they can get one point back. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it. Okay, so who do you want to start with? 
Uh, I guess I'll start with Rick, but maybe I'll take him outside the the room. Okay. <laughs> First, thanks. So you're all talking <laughs> with him. All right, close your eyes, guys. This is the number he has to get. All right, do you want to spend any points? Uh, yeah, I'll, sp I'll spend a point. Okay. Nope. Oh, wow. oh no. Remember, it's high. he's seen a lot of blood. Yeah. He's really freaked out. So now it's her turn. Um, yeah, that's great. I don't need your psychological bullshit, okay? <laughs> I just need, we just need to get out of this place. Maybe you try smoking another cigarette then, right? <laughs> so, go ahead, different, different thing. Uh, well, shit. Um. How many points? <laughs> I have to put down the thing. Come yeah. here, guys, real quick. Uh. This is the number for Michelle. All right. Um... Michelle doesn't have a big, as big a problem with blood, though, right? No. All right, well, then I'm just going to try to do it. I'm just going to do it. Nope. Oh. I'm just going to stop trying to roll today. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of us have been doing yeah. that. No. Megan's been doing the best. I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you guys need a pep talk. All right, so, what, so you've learned that this large uh, obelisk in the middle of this house that the house is built around has been tampered with. It was once a, uh, probably some sort of warning, uh, special, uh, m you know, Native American uh, stone that, that was carved with, you know, glyphs to keep out evil spirits. And now it's been changed to something from what you can tell that is sinister. You're up in top of this room, you're outside, you're, you know, and- God, This is all my fault, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have let anyone walk away. We shouldn't have left the bus. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have told people we should have left the bus. Well, it wasn't just up to you. We, and we came, let's face it, to the people from the bus that are up here. Yeah, That's but if true. we'd all stayed together on the road, there's a much better chance we would have been safe. I, I think something's... Um, can I use reassurance? To call, I have reassurance. Uh, sure. Okay. I reassure you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're right. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? Uh, oh, decisions are difficult. Um, I mean, we... I guess we should... We've got all these running points, guys. We know mm -hmm. where there's a road. Yeah, there's a road. There's <laughs> That's a town. True. That's true. There is a town down the hill. Yeah. I mean, we, we need to find... We can't stay here. Or, or if we do, we have to find a safe place. I mean, we eventually have to find somebody. There's nothing around here. Nobody knows we're here. That's true. So we, we have to find some way to contact someone. I mean, maybe we should try and find a town. But we'd or need to we need to find a flashlight. Or if we got the generator working, we could use the phone. Maybe. All right, make a choice. Uh, I mean, would you only have two minutes? <laughs> I mean, uh, do you think it's a better idea to use the phone and try to call for help, or everyone run down to the town together? Well, in the storm? I think we this go down to the town together. I think we probably do too, because this I, is an old phone. I don't think electricity is going to make it work. Well, and if there's no service, there's no service. That's yeah. true, and and we know people have died here. Yeah. Yeah. I say we take everyone and we we head to town. Okay. I, I agree. Let's yep. let's get out of this place. Okay. It's. it's so you guys run down the stairs and you go out into the the rain and thank you for making a decision within the two minutes. <laughs> decision um, making music. Basically. <laughs> Gotta make a choice now. You have to make a choice. Dun, dun. Let's see, where is this? All right. I'm it's digging on it. All right. Uh, Quick dance break. Hmm. All right, so you guys go out in the rain and you see the bus there and the front of the bus is like mangled. Um, like the engine so? has been kind of ripped out of it um, and is lying not far from the bus. The axle's been broken. 
the windows are are uh, broken. It looks like some big hand is smashed into the side. Uh, it looks tore up. Is there anyone that we know still alive on the bus? <laughs> you don't see, uh, you go up to the bus and you look inside. Um, you don't see anyone in side there. Um, uh, you notice that there, the back, the emergency door was opened and you see footsteps running off into the, uh, towards the, where the utility, where the shed is. Do you think it's worth No, we need to shed? run downhill to the town. We need help. We, we obviously yeah. haven't been able to do anything ourselves. Yeah, yeah I, I I agree. Let me check the bus real quick and see if there's a flashlight, though. That could be helpful. It's a good idea. Uh, there's a flashlight in the in the glove compartment. Flares? Uh, yep. Flare guns? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> what Anything else? <laughs> yeah, use first that. Aid. Boom. First, first aid kit. Uh, siphon? Hose? Um, Shot up no, shotguns. No, no hose. <laughs> a, a cop? Is there a police officer in there? Yeah. Yeah. A police officer. In the, all in the glove compartment. A hospital. Is there a TARDIS? <laughs> Na TARDIS. National Guard. Oh, good. <laughs> the whole National Guard. Yeah. Hello. So are you guys going to go to the where the footsteps lead off to, or are you going to go down the road? I say down the road. Down the road. Down the to road. The tent. There are lights down there, right? Or there were? There are some lights, yeah. I say we try. Yeah. We need other people, or at least a phone, or at least some cell service. Yeah, yeah. S something. I mean, I, I don't, I don't feel good leaving anyone behind, but I, there's nothing we can do right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys start going down the road, and uh, it's pretty dark, and it's this big hill that you're coming down, and as you're ste you're kind of in the front. And as you're stepping forward, uh, there's a flash, and you notice that your foot is right over a ravine uh, where this large wood bridge used to be. And it's no longer there. Holy shit, there's a giant cliff right here, and the bridge is washed out. And across the way, on the other side of the bridge, you see a figure silhouetted by the by the lightning, um, probably eight feet tall, with this huge axe, just standing there. And then when it flashes again, he is no longer there. Holy oh my, shit! Oh my god! At least he's on the other side, I guess. For now. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how wide is this ravine? Like how wide is this? Chasm? Probably like 75 yards. Okay, so it's wide enough to not. Can we go the yeah. other direction? Does anybody know if there's a town in the other direction? It's pitch black, you have no idea. I knew I shouldn't have come to college in Massachusetts. There's no good colleges here. This is not <laughs> <a> good college. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we need to go back. We should check the shed. Maybe there's whoever. What, another axe? Yeah, yeah, another axe. Or, you, you know, Dan. <laughs> haven't seen his head yet. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So we've seen there was a big skull in the at the house, and there was that really big handprint. So if that guy's on the other side of the ravine, there must be another way over, right? Uh, yeah, maybe, or he can jump to, I don't know. Well, what do we do? Maybe well, do we you want to climb, a, do you want to get over to the side of the ravine that the giant axe wielding no, ape Should we ask the elder gods people? what you should do next? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should. Uh, Dom, can we do a, a straw poll? He's all like, <laughs> <laughs> Dom's real excited over here. He's like, yes. That's what he Dom does. loves straw poles. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, last time 
uh, while we're waiting for the straw poll. Well, we um, have to tell them what the straw poll is. For oh, okay. oh, yes, yes. Then you can reminisce about the time that you were in chat. <laughs> um, so what are your options that you're going over? Well, try and find another way across the ravine, I guess. Right. Follow the ravine to see if it peters out somewhere mm, or try to get a tree trunk or something that's across the... It. And then the other option, I guess, would be either maybe look. Go to the, the shed. Go yeah, to the go shed, to the house, back to the house. Or, or the house. try to or try to get the, the gas. Order. Oh yeah, the gas. Or we could go uh, the other direction on the road and hope well, we. Well, we have to go to the shed to get the gas because we have no siphon or hose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we could go uh, down the other way, past the bus, past the house, back and keep the heading way we down. Came, yeah. and maybe go, maybe go back to Miskatonic U or the road. Mm -hmm. Right. Or I guess try to fix the the protective pillar. Not that I believe in such a thing, but some okay. people might. Did you get all that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, find another way across the ravine. Mm -hmm. Go to the shed. Mm -hmm. Go back to the house and get gas. No. Or try, no. Go back to the. Go to the shed. Ah! Get across the ravine, or find the main road. Oh, not getting gas or going back to the house. Well, going back to the shed would be getting gas. And go yeah. back to the house, yeah. kind yeah. of. Yeah. That's all. The shed one. and the gas are the same. Okay, so we think. one and the same. Uh, so getting if you'd like to go road. to the shed and yeah, look like for a hose, to find <laughs> the page thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I always like those books. Yeah. yeah. Well. Mm. Try reading them at Wizard Warriors and <laughs> you. <laughs> at least that last those, one. Those okay. are fantastic, though. They Actually, were. It is, it is, it's great TV. The, the one we did last, though, had like two decisions in the entirety of the book. which was Oh, yeah, through that <laughs> dragon one. That one was pretty, pretty awful. Yeah. That was weird. All right, how many... Uh, so as we're waiting, regale us with your tale of You chat. know, you don't have to be like that. <laughs> well, so, um, no, it was, it was a lot of fun actually being able to be on chat. Last uh, game, I wasn't able to be here, and mm -hmm. so... Um, she pulled I, a bin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I made a joke about not building an effigy for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I have to say how much fun it was, like, being in chat. And believe it or not, Dom, I know y you, you know, you, you did like the straw poll right now, but that was one of the, like, best parts was being able to take the polls and, like, so stop grousing. You know? Stop your grousing. That was fun. <laughs> And just interacting with a lot of the people who normally watch the show, it, that was fun. Yeah, it's that fun. That was a lot of fun. So, how's it and looking so far? turtle skeletons. Because <laughs> when they were talking about whether a turtle, whether or not a turtle is an invertebrate, uh, uh, who was it Pop, pops up this, this link and you click on the link and it was a, a turtle skeleton? <laughs> and now we know. What? It was pretty classic. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, well, that's the thing. You always say something, and you're like, I know somebody in chat is looking that up right now. Yeah. yeah. The assless chaps thing is <laughs> my favorite. Asshole there's chaps. Always, there's always, all, all chaps, chaps are, are assless. assless. That was Texas Devin. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not cool with that. Has yeah. he, is he on tonight? Mm. I think he's been watching. Yeah, he's around. I think he's been watching the YouTube. Yeah, he was gone for a while because he said his work schedule has gotten was, mm -hmm. yeah. really, really yeah. busy. It's too bad. We don't like losing Elder Gods. No, we always need more Elder Gods. Yeah, as many as we can get. For, not for points or anything. Mm. Yeah. But it's pretty overwhelming. Okay. Oh. Go to the shed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go to the shed. To the shed. To the shed it is then. Yeah. I think maybe we should go to the shed. <laughs> if, if we can't get to that town, Someone then, ran then I think towards I think, the shed. I think gas yeah. is our only our yeah. only option here now. Okay. So um, you guys head out and go back up the road, uh, and you walk over to the shed, um, and. Uh, Slowly open the door open. Open the door. Open the door open. Door open. Door open. Open door. Open. Open door. And Hello door. It's really dark inside. You can't there's no electricity in here. Can we use our flashlight? Yeah. Um, Can we use our flares? Phone back on. Yeah. <laughs> um you turn on the flashlight and uh 
there is blood all over the walls. Oh my God. Oh. And it is, oh. you see um, body parts, fresh body parts yeah. cut up. I, I can't go in there. Okay, just, just wait outside. Um, I need stability checks from everyone. Oh, oh Lordy Lou. Damn it. All right, all right. I'm not gonna use <laughs> any points. You're crazy. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. I'm okay. gonna do a loop. All right, we'll I'm get to gonna it. go. Yeah. I have no points to use. So I assume if Three. we're negative points, we can't spend points. Right. Okay. That's right. I would like to. So how far down are you now? Well, how many did I lose right well, now? We'll find that out. Oh yeah. I'd like to use two points. Well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah we'll maybe. maybe. <laughs> no, it's always four on stability, so oh, you're fine. Okay. Oh, nice. So, but you still so use you two, points. two points for no reason. Yay! Yay. Okay, this is roll. pretty. This is pretty gruesome. It's f like four points of stability. Oh, I'm now it's particularly great. Now I have I'm, three. I'm, I'm now negative yeah. five. You're negative. Oh, you're right on the threshold. Yeah. 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 Starting to get Pulls, facial tics. Pulls it right. together. It was menthol. I don't think Francesca's okay. <laughs> you're like, you like a six of them. No, no, no. It's not, even, it's not like that. It's, it's not like a single drag yeah, per like, smoke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feeling better. Sm smoke is coming out of your ears. <laughs> Minty smoke. Minty smoke. At least it's not fucking cloves. Ah, <laughs> oh, the mid-90s. Oh. Why do you drink? You, yeah, you didn't say emo on here. Yeah, I know, totally. <laughs> or goth. <laughs> I had a few friends that smoked cloves. If they were smoking cloves now, we'd be like, don't be a hipster. Don't yeah. do that. But they'd be doing it to be ironic. Yeah. No, I remember that outside <laughs> of clubs. Yeah. Always, there's always that one bastard with a clove. It's like, oh, smells like you're smoking a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't, okay, well, we came in here to... I, to, I don't think we're going to find anything did we in come here. in here what to do? We, we came I, in here to find I'll a take hose? I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. You're going to go in? I'm going to go in. Okay. He's the only one who didn't lose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you notice that uh, as you're coming in, in the gore and muck, you see the shoes of... Uh, Let's see, the shoes of Dan. Uh, Dan's no longer with us. Bye, Dan. Um, you also, you do not find any of Jason here. Jason. Uh, um, Jason Kim and here. Edgar. Yeah, Jason was in the bus. Uh, Edgar is, is not here and neither is Kim. Uh, so right now you guys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, you guys still have people at the house, right? No, no we were all came together. Everybody, everybody, everybody came, came together. Yeah, we were all just gonna run the... So there's 10 people left uh, with you all. Um, and you're all in this huge like... <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you're like fish. Yeah. Like School little fish, fish trying to avoid... Yeah. yeah. Run away, run is there away. anything useful in the shed? Hose, we need that. Um, uh -oh. Yes, there is a hose. Uh, like an axe or anything? No, there's see all of the implements of destruction seem to be removed for some reason. Uh -huh. mm. uh, there, there even Car? is on yeah. the wall. There's a place where there used to be. You see the outline of like a chainsaw and two <laughs> nails. <laughs> That's no! gone as well. <laughs> okay. And someone's uh, gouged groovy. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, well, I will come back with the. And there are no, like, batteries or anything? Um, Car battery? No, there's none of that. <laughs> I think it would matter at this point. Uh, okay. You do notice that there's something scrawled in, in blood on the back wall. Okay, well, I guess I'll read that. Okay, uh, it says pick someone. All right, I will walk back out of the shed. Right. Um, so there's good news and there's bad news. Okay. Actually, there's good news and there's bad news and there's bad news and there's bad news. Okay, well, there's oh. already a lot of that. Okay, so. Well, start us with the good news, I guess. Here's a hose. 
That's good. Right. Yay. Right. Um, uh, DJ regular gives you one stability point back. Woo! Thank you, DJ. Yes. Now you're at negative four. Yeah. Woo! Oh. Woohoo! Um, hey, chat. <laughs> did you I see that? Phone, did you see and that? And you were here. I have like a ton of XP I'd spend on that. <laughs> you're gonna get new die. Yes. Well, good. Did you see <laughs> that? They're gonna make me keep Did it. you see the onion thing where it said, uh, "Queen Elizabeth II hopes she dies yeah. before she has to knight a DJ." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that DJs are bad, I just it came in my mind because yeah. of this. Thank you very much for your for your stability Thank point. You. All right, so um, no, no namaste. Yeah. All right, so what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> uh, yep. So got the got the hose. Um, bad news is uh, well, I don't know that Dan said, but Dan's shoe is in there, and there's a lot of blood. Oh, people are dying and, really quickly. And someone had written on. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I thought there were two. There was only one piece of good news. <laughs> What's, what the fuck's wrong with you, Rick? <laughs> it's been a very stressful night. All right. Um, and someone that has written. a dick. Yeah. And someone wrote on the back wall, pick someone. In pick, blood. In blood? I would like to pick Dan. <laughs> Uh, but what yeah. does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, but, and, and, you know, also there's a bunch of places where weapons should be hung that aren't, like a chainsaw. But, um, a chainsaw? Well, at least we can hear that one coming, I guess. Yeah. But they don't have any gasoline for it. Of course, it, it's so. a really old chainsaw where they cranked it. So <laughs> yeah. it's all like... So... But uh, we should get the gas, I guess. Got the hose. Yeah, yeah. We should just just focus on what we're doing. Let's just do the task yeah, we're, at hand. We're we're not gonna pick someone. We're we'll we'll stay together. We're not doing that. We're I don't not even know what that means. Somebody to the psycho. How would yeah. we even do that? Yeah. So let's go yeah, to the bus. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the bus and try Come to on, get Tasha. Second gas. When you guys turn around and uh, there's a uh, lightning strike, uh, you see the figure on top of the bus for just a moment. Holy shit. Uh, uh, I, I, maybe we just need to go si find a safe place and just stay there. Maybe that would be better. Yeah. Just wait for morning. Maybe we could shoot off a flare or something and maybe someone will see it and come. And uh, well, we should do that now. The shed. Yeah. The shed. It's only one door. Yeah, but there's a lot of dead bodies. Uh, they're parts. not alive. <laughs> and we're sheds right here. Do you want to run back to the house? No, but I don't know that everyone's going to be okay. Suddenly it comes Wait, around the bin and it's yeah. starting to walk towards you guys. Go for the house, everybody! Run for the house! Wait a minute, what, <laughs> what about that stone? All right, the house, the house, the house, the house. I, I don't know. The, the blades oh, okay. rushes. <laughs> we run, we run to the house. Anna gets hit in the head. Yeah. Oh, oh, Anna. Blood gets sprayed yeah. everywhere. She was kind of a jerk, so. <laughs> she had the best fashion sense. Uh, she was a bitch, though. <gasps> well. No. There's no time for fighting. We don't have time for this. He grabs uh, Mark by the head and picks him up and just rips his head out and oh, literally like deep. Mortal Kombat. Fatality. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, at least he's going for the, the jerky oh. people. Run, 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 run. I how, hate how him both of them. points? So, <laughs> flea points, yay. Like little flea. So you have to figure out uh, how quickly all ten of you, or wait, no, eight, eight, uh, eight of you get to run away from this thing. Now, I'm going to show chat what number you have to beat oh, in no. order to get away from this guy who is eight feet tall oh with a long reach. <laughs> He's really popular. But his arms aren't as long as he is tall, right? Uh, no, it's not that <laughs> okay, heavy. <laughs> eight foot long. <laughs> Don't make fun. This is the car I could afford. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this Enderman. is what they have to yeah. beat. That's actually my life. <laughs> yeah. Can we look? This is the automobile I could afford. Can we um, look? You can look. I just don't let you look. He's like um, an Enderman. Yeah, he's an Enderman, <laughs> absolutely. All right, so chat knows what you guys have to roll. We're going to go around. <gasps> don't you love this? This is fun. So it's the, the stress. Wait, this wait, 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 wait. We need, we need proper, there we go. 
<laughs> All right, so what do you want to do? Oh, God, I'm going to use... Four. You guys are running towards the where? Four uh, to the, the house. house. All right, so you're using four points. I'll use five points. I'll use five. It's you're gonna be five. five. That makes an eight. You. Wait. He swings his axe towards you, and it barely misses you as you run through the mud. Ooh. Go for it. I'm gonna use five. Five points. Okay. So misses you completely. You're five. in high heels. I'm using five. Woo All right, no problem. Uh, now make sure you mark down. I'm also using his five. All right. So oh. um, let me roll for your other people. Oh, no. <laughs> One pressure, hurry. So we're going to start with uh, Sarah. <laughs> uh, where's my marker? <laughs> <laughs> they stole it. You hear Sarah scream out <laughs> as she's cut into her oh. her disemboweled. Oh my God! All right, next is uh, Willow. Yeah, Willow. Who is Willow's also in um, high heels and a very inappropriate outfit. You hear her go down. Oh no! Rose. She's with you. All right. Um, Francesca? Nope, that's you. No, that's, that's you. Um, the next is, uh, oh, you guys, Jason is still missing. Tasha. Um, Tasha. Tasha. All right, um, Tasha's oh, still okay. Thank God. All right. I'd flip out without her. So you guys run through the front door and slam it quickly. Yes. Wow. Can we lock it? Yeah, Is but lock? grab some furniture. Let's put it up against the door. Suddenly, you're putting all this stuff against, and you hear him, you hear whatever it is, hit against the door and start slamming against the door, oh, trying need, to get oh through. We need to find a place to hide. The, yeah, I think Wait, he's right. breathing, and the axe starts going into the you, walls. You said something about the about Chips the protection fly on, everywhere. The, on, the, on the rock. Can Let's you, go up can, there. Can, can, can you restore it? I, I have no idea. I, I could try. I mean, at the very least, we can barricade ourselves in that room at the top of the. True. Thing. Go, go, Let's try, go. try. Okay, so you guys run up the stairs. You hear him bust into the bottom floor, and you're you're just going as quickly as you can. Um, it said, "Pick one." Can we pick him? I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll just just try and solve it. I'll I'll hold him off. What? Right. How? What? How are you gonna do what that? Are you doing? <laughs> Get up He's here. eight feet tall, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Rick! He's eight feet tall. <laughs> All right, so you guys get up and you slam the door. Are you really gonna stay outside? Or are you gonna go inside with them? No, no, I'm, I'm inside. Okay. Like if, he, if he comes up the staircase. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll stay. I'll, I'll stay. Don't, don't so worry. you guys get up the door and you slam the door and you don't hear anything. He doesn't follow you. Now, at, at the top, one thing that I didn't explain is that there are windows all around that look out. Like a lighthouse? Like a lighthouse. Look out onto the valley below. And uh, you guys go and you look, um, and you see the bus. And uh, the rain starts to, to let up a little bit, and the, the clouds kind of part, and the moon shines down. And at this point, it's like 1 o'clock, maybe. 1.30 in the morning, and you see him dragging the bodies that he uh, took out as you guys were running away, and he's putting them in a pile uh, not far from where the bus is, and you kinda, you're watching this, and uh, he takes some kind of, uh, he takes like lighter fluid and you see him like spraying the stuff on and then he sets all the bodies on fire. And then every once in a while, he'll put his uh, hand into the pile and pull out something or just cut something off and sit there and chew on it. Ugh. And he's looking. Does he look human? You can't tell. He's in this like black weird. Uh, he's very big if he is human. 
Uh, I need stability <laughs> rolls from everyone. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm just going to roll. Just going to roll. OK. No. Yeah. So you take six points. No, no, oh, I'm no, negative. No. I'm minus four. Uh, that's a four. That's a four, so you're OK. I'm minus three now. I can't smell. I can't smell oh, the blood. You can't there. smell it. Five. Woo -hoo, you're all right. I'm gonna use first one I've made. <laughs> two points. Okay. You're okay. Crap. All right. What happens again whenever it, I'm negative? What are you things negative? Negative harder. three. Okay, so it's basically things are harder. Okay. If it's after negative five, things get really hard. Okay. Okay. Can I spend time talking myself? <laughs> Shrinking myself. You've got a mirror. You're, okay. You're, okay. You're a good person, You're okay. and people okay. like you. <laughs> Show me on the doll where I touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really confusing. So I'm confused now. All right. I think I'm Look, molested Brenda, you, you were saying something about these, about the the marks on that stone. You've got them on your phone, right? Yeah. Can you figure out what needs to be done? I mean, this sounds crazy, but this has been an insane night. I think that that maybe someone changed those, and whatever that is was summoned or was able to come in, and if we can restore those protection markers, then then it then maybe that thing will go away or leave us alone or let us get through the morning. Anything's worth a try at this point. Yeah, I, I can try. I mean, maybe there's some kind of pattern. I mean, obviously something's different. I can see something's different. So can I try to like work out a pattern or maybe see if I can figure out a way to? Yeah, um, you look at the pa you work out the pattern. Um, the problem is is because it's cut into the stone, the the tools that you would need to fix it would be like you know wet cement and that kind of thing you'd have to like go over the old stuff um and replay and then re-carve new things so as you're looking at it you realize that that's really not something that you could do unless you search through the uh the the shed to see if or maybe in the basement or something, maybe there's, maybe there's some kind of cement or putty or something that you can change the actual glyph, but you can do it. Um, does anybody look out there at any point or do you just um, stay I'll, away? I'll, I'll yeah, look yeah, out I'm there. Out. I'll keep my eyes on After, after a little do. bit, you just see uh, the, bl the fiery, uh, the bodies burning and whatever it is has left. What, what if we, I mean, it's going to be really tough to, to uh, I assume you tell us all yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Um, <coughs> it's going to be really tough to fix the stone. What if we do something else? Maybe carve, carve those into the door and ward a room? or there's a lot of markings paint or tattoo them tattoo that's mm -hmm. cool uh, i don't i don't understand any of this maybe we can carve them into the door i think that might be a good idea we could try it might or around the room time. so when, when you say paint there are a bunch them? of markings around the door are they the same sort of markings? no i mean the there's the the amount of markings there's a smooth surface for uh, us yeah, to Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot. Okay. Can I, mm. well, could you I'd have, have lipstick, right? Yeah. Can we write it on the windows? You could. Okay. I mean, it's worth a try, I it's guess. Worth a try. Yeah. So. Leaving this room doesn't seem, I mean, he stopped chasing us here. Yeah. What's with the heads on the stone? I don't know. Do you know, know anything about that? I don't. I mean, I do have history and occult as studies as well, natural history. Humanities. I don't know. Yeah. Any of those. <laughs> yeah, I have a cult. <laughs> Throwing it out there. This is the head of an AP student. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are, uh, it's obviously trophies. Um, his trophies that he's gotten so far from, or, uh, from you guys. Uh, so they have a, a meaning of power to him. Uh, you would guess, like, they're... They're symbols of his uh, his his power over you guys right now. So to okay, so recap real quick, using the video, I start writing symbols, but you're gonna have to tell me which ones to change. Okay. Okay, this is definitely gonna take a roll of some sort. You guys are helping each other out, 
So you'll get a bonus. You basically you'll negate your stability thing, your negative stability. Uh, what kind of general skills? Let me. Can I just borrow this real mm -hmm. quick? Because I have to remember <laughs> what we've got. Bullshit. You detectors. gave me a lot yeah. that are great yeah. for Call of Cthulhu, but not necessarily for this. <laughs> All right. Um, I have an idea if, if this doesn't work. But. Okay. <laughs> click, click. Yeah. How much rope do we have? Um, a 10 foot pole. <laughs> <laughs> Clean athletics, right? You are just terrible at everything for this particular thing. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be all you. And um, I'm just going to assign a basic thing. You can put. Uh, your invest well, it's not an investigation thing though. Um, I'm gonna just say that it's a straight up four. I'm gonna let you know. Okay. So um, go ahead. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a number, okay, so and I'm not, not gonna let now. you know <laughs> it's not gonna be four. I'll choose a number. It's gonna be four, but you're not gonna know that it's four. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I screwed up. But it's better if you actually don't know. Sure. What it is, whether you did it right or not. So um, I'm going to put the number that they have to get. OK, so there you go, chat. That's what they have to get. Go ahead. So are we both, do we both have to no, get No, just this you're or? just rolling it. I'm just rolling. OK, for anything particular? Just, just straight. OK. Whoa, so, I got it. <laughs> well, if it was the I old know. number, yeah. you don't know. Uh, All right, so um, you guys make the marks. Um, is is there anything that I can help with with the same set of skills, occult and uh, history, occult studies and history? Um, well, not it, just going over the same kind of thing. Okay. You guys have kind of figured out what there is. So you've you've put protective uh, runes on the uh, on the windows and on the door, um, and uh, you feel safe right now. <laughs> Okay. We can, need a, can, can we gain back some stability? Yeah, can we try? <laughs> Since we feel safe. <laughs> um, safe do you want to? Do you want to? Yeah, I mean, no. I'll try. I'll try to shrink some heads here. All right. So I'm gonna put out the number that you have to beat. How much? How many points are you gonna do? Well, I'm uh, only gonna make you do one roll. For everybody. For everybody. Uh, I'm gonna spend three. All right. So for everybody, that's what he's got to roll. All right, go for it. Whew. And you spent three. Mm -hmm. You all feel a little better. How, how much? How much better? better? Two points. Quantify That doesn't okay. apply to me. Though, still right? making it work. Uh, yeah, you can get two points back just from talking. Just talking. Only at a negative two better. now. What the hell? You talked it out. Yeah. Oh, talk it out. Okay. Hey, I'm back in the positive. I think nice. I'm wow. talking a lot tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I used to run at cons. Whenever I go to cons, I usually run a lot of games. But I used to run five games a con. Jeez. Wow. I'd run Friday night. I'd run two games Saturday and Sunday. As uh, Saturday and Sunday. So by the end of Sunday night, I was like, uh, like Bob Dylan. <laughs> like, <it> just, <laughs> like everything was just. Was horrible. it all the same game, or was it like five different games? Ooh, that's uh -huh. a lot of work. Yeah. I'm a nerd. Okay, no. so. Um, yeah, games, though. But, uh, yeah. The, 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 the one that I sat in on, so. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nerd. Nerd! Yeah. So funny, because when she was going to, the, we went to the mall today, we realized that she has her Star Trek shirt on my, with her Star, Star Trek, Trek purse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I have the Doctor Who shirt on in yes. my, my X-Men wallet. Yeah. So we, we are. A, I walked in with some friends to, um, cream the other day and we all were wearing you know various geek shirts and the lady behind the counter goes do you guys all come from a con or something <laughs> like, no we just always look like this <laughs> we're always just this us. Way. okay so you guys feel safe you feel you feel good uh, a few hours pass you know and uh, you don't see anything nothing no nothing's damn. happening uh, what time is it Three? it's later now it's been a few hours so it's like four. 4.30? I'll say 4.30. And I don't know that this is anything. the part where we think we buried the monster and then yeah, the hand's going to come up. And yeah. well, what, Other what shoe? proactive yeah. thing can we do? 
Except uh -huh. exit our safe room. It feels like we just need to stay I here. I wait till sunrise. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out if by some odd chance someone comes down the road, shoot off a flare. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um. <coughs> One second. Beep. For what we're about to see of Elder Gods, we thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you guys are, are feeling uh, pretty good. A couple hours goes by, five o'clock hits. Um, sun's probably gonna come up in, in about an hour. You look outside, you haven't seen anything. Haven't, you don't know, really hear much below. Um, it's raining again. There's a there's a little bit of little just little little bit of smoke Isn't starts like rain. coming up Wait, through that the that sounds like fire. <laughs> like this thing. And uh, oh, oh my God. suddenly oh you God. notice that uh, there seems to be a lot of smoke coming up into the room through the floorboards. Oh no! <laughs> we gotta get. <laughs> Holy shit! What are we gonna do? We gotta get out of here. We got this fire. This whole place is just a big wooden. Fucking, and you see flames start coming up the, the stairs, and <coughs> we're out of here. Guys, we, we, have to, we have to get out of here. Is the, uh, we tried to like test the door test the door of non uh, All of this, you 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 see smoke coming up through. Oh, it's all the, all the way down, and it's coming up. You can go out the window if you want. Okay, well, what's in this room? Are there like? Um, the heads. You know, can we shimmy down the rock? <laughs> the, now the outside of this, um, and this is going to be fleeing again. Mm -hmm. The outside of this is a Victorian house, an old. They're they're trellis and gables, like trellis trellis and, gables okay. and stuff. Right. So, so I guess we have to try to get out of the room. Yeah. So let's open the window and so try to make it to the shed or something. This whole okay. house is on fire. Well, first let's get down. Yeah. Yeah. So the fire is uh, ripping through the house quickly. Okay, you hear a, a small pop and then an explosion outside and, and windows bust as the stale gas kind of combusts in the, the, uh, right. the uh, generator, which is now gone. Um, so you're climbing down the side of the, the thing. Let's start with you. Now, before you tell me how many points, there are fires, there's fires going all around and windows busting out. That's what the, each person has to get to make it down safely. Um, go ahead, guys, open up your... All right, so how many points do you want to use of your fleeing? My fleeing? Uh, I'm going uh, to use four this time. That's a one. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't, I mean, we should all, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, so I'll tell you what, so yeah. we don't manipulate yeah. how many points yeah. we're spending. How many points are you going to do? Um, I will spend four. I'm pretty athletic. So okay, I'm your turn. Get down and get I'm some. spending four. Yes, so ten. I'm going to spend three. Uh, roll again. <laughs> Good job, Wobble. <laughs> Sorry. All right. What was your final number? Seven. Seven. Okay. All right. Um, so now I'm going to do your other people that are with you. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Rose. Okay. Five. And Rick. Rick's. And yeah. Tasha. Okay, so Rick. Yeah. Wait, I thought Rick oh, sorry, was... sorry, Rick. Sorry, Rose, yeah. uh, Tasha. Tasha. Five. It's a five. Everybody okay. Five. So... Or Jason. Let's start with you. What did you roll? Five. Oh, a That's five. That's what I got. So you're, you're go down, you, uh, and you grab, like, this old, uh, like, rain gutter thing. It snaps, and Ow. you fall, like, three stories hitting the side of a building oh. and you hit the ground with a huge thump crack and uh, your your femur is broken. Oh, and oh it's, God. It's, it's sticking out. It's so gross. <laughs> Don't look at it. 
<laughs> um, uh, you take Brenda a good amount of damage. Um, let's see. What? What? Which one's my um health, my health pool? pool? Your health what pool. Is? What is my? What is hit threat? Oh, right. That's that's like when you're. All right. So you take six points. That's half of my health. You take six points. Um, and uh, what time is it? Okay, gotta make sure I'm pacing this right. Um, you take six points. Uh, let's go to you. What did you get? Nine. Okay, you're fine. You're you're going down, and you 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 see her grab onto something, and and she falls, and you just it's almost like uh, this uh, slow mo where she's like, and you see her like hit her knee hits the ground so she's like she's hitting straight in and her bone just cracks like goes <laughs> and uh and she ye yells and, and yells just this horrible cry out lots of curse words uh, <laughs> i rolled a 10. you rolled a 10 okay you're fine uh you you're doing to like, fine mm -hmm. <laughs> in heels in heels no less i rolled a seven okay not so good. No. Oh no! So you two fall straight down, and you land right on top of her. Oh um, come on! Bam! <laughs> Stabbed by the femur. Stab you with my femur. <laughs> oh, sorry, can I have that back? So you take uh, two more points, oh, no. and you take six points oh, as well. I only have two points left. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so weak. So as you guys are climbing down, uh, you guys are stunned. And this thing, there's the tree line. It comes out and just grabs you by the throat and starts dragging you into the to the uh, um, to the forest. Oh God, Samuel! I I, would, oh. I, I, I I run out and try and show. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh. Uh oh. Updating news from the Elder Gods. I just need to find out. Ah, did he write that? That's brilliant. That's what? What? Faquad gives you one hit point. <laughs> That's the best kind of hit point. Oh, that goes to my. Where's that Such a dud. To your health pool. Health pool? Okay, or my stability pool. Your health. Health? Right? It was Thank health. Thank you. Yeah. One point. <laughs> Give me a stability roll, please. This okay. guy's got you by the throat. His long fingers wrapped around. Okay, I'm gonna. He's go. the. He's like. He's like holding you like you're an egg. I'm gonna go with a four. Just gently dragging you, but <laughs> he could crush. He could crush you at any moment. Right. A seven. You, seven. Okay, so you're fine. You're not. I mean, you're I'm not fine. You're apart from relative. my broken body yeah. <laughs> and being dragged out of the in. woods by an eight-foot monster. I, I I run after him and I yell, "Wait!" It stops. And you're, what do you do? Can I try to shoot him with my flare gun? Sure. Um, okay. What were you going to do? Uh, I'm, I want to talk to him for a second. I mean, I, I want to ask him a question. So he turns around towards you, and it's he's got, like, uh, this big hood on, and it looks like he's got this weird mask, and he pulls back the mask, and there's this... The, the the fire kind of lights his face up and it looks like he's wearing uh, the face of Edgar and Kim the oh. bus and the professor sewn together oh, okay. so let me mark them off maybe he's yeah. first stuff we didn't know Dra first uh, dragon 14 person. gives you a one more point <gasps> thank you I dragon all right I dragon sorry yes <laughs> Sorry, I dragon didn't now see I'm back to half. It, it's a mall more point. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know the joke, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still getting over Fox yeah. Wilds. <laughs> that was great. That was awesome. <laughs> we needed it. I mean, we needed more one, so. All right, so. Uh, so, so I, I, as it turns to me and it's disgusting and it's horrible, I, I say, 
if I go with you, will you leave them alone? You said to pick one. If I choose me and go with you, will you leave them alone? He lets go of, of you. Okay. What do you do? I still want to try to shoot him with my flare gun. Do you shoot him with a flare gun? I would like to. Okay. All right. It's I don't right. have a real gun. No, no, no. <laughs> go for it. So as you say that, like he you, lets go. And again, you, it's like a slow motion situation yeah. where you're like, you're like, oh, maybe this will work. I'm, I'm just and trying to play my protective to the hilt here. No, no, you're, do, you're doing well. I can protect you're doing well. You. And I'm and very you, skeptical. Of working. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm watching, I'm curious. I'm like, what? Uh, you, uh, this is so bad, but what's going I on? I gotta see it? what's happening, you guys. So uh, give me a roll. You're trying to hit. You don't have guns. I don't have guns. So it's, so it's just a straight up roll. <laughs> straight aiming this. Straight aiming this. Uh, let me show the people what they have to, what you have to roll. I am, this is, cover your eyes. Oh, avert your eyes. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. That's the number we have to beat. All right. Sorry if we're blowing out the, <laughs> we keep yelling. I love it. Yeah, I, I apologize. I laughed right into that. I know. There. All right, go for it. Ignore me right into it. Oh, oh, no. oh, terrible, terrible aim. So you you shoot the the flare and it it goes right past his face, and he turns around and just takes his knife, his takes his uh, oh. his axe, oh. and just cuts your head off. Oh. oh. No. And it, I don't think there's any coming. There's no back coming back. From no. Yeah. 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 Probably not. Sorry, you're now a spectator. Well, okay. Spectator. So I do what uh, I can. Your head. Falls and you, in a moment, you're like, no. Nah. <laughs> um, now, just so you know, um, Tasha did make it down. Oh, oh thank Good God. Time. How about so, Rose? I'll make uh, her to feel better. Rose made it down as well. So. And neither of them fell on you, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. So this thing starts walking towards you guys now. What do you guys want to do? What can I do? I, I guess you, I can try you, to drag myself. You're going to need somebody to carry yeah. you. Tasha will probably help me at the very Tasha's least. Tasha's not big enough to carry you. Well, she could, like, help. I can hop on one leg, right? I mean, one leg's Your okay. Your fucking femur is broken. <laughs> yeah. But only one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's he's now walking towards... Yeah. So it's all of you. Because you're in justice. front of all of them. Okay. And you hear her still, like, freaking out behind you. You can play Rose. You are now Rose. Nice. The cheerleader. Perfect. <laughs> back, in, we're, we're back, 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 in, back in the game is Rose. Um, crap, this is, there's no, there's no. Do you want to grab her and run? Like pick her up? Well, since, since my diplomacy was soured here. Yeah. <laughs> By Flare Boy, who's yeah. now headless. Yeah. Uh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good scene, though. Yes. Yes. No, it was so a good scene. And, and if so it worked, down. it would have yeah. been really cinematic and cool. <laughs> I'm totally with it. Um, shit! And I, yeah, I'll run back and I'll, I'll place Brenda up. Okay, so. Oh, fuck it, hey! My leg! Uh, you guys start to run. Um. Um, and uh, so you're running around this fire. The only place that is left to go is into like the shed or garage. Well, let's go to the garage because we know the shed's already a yeah, yeah. a murder show. hole. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything useful there now because, yeah. well, maybe once the house stops burning, we can try and find putty and. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's going to happen either. Yeah, that's a little far-fetched <laughs> yeah. at this point. Scale, scale the giant rock. Well, I assume that it's going to collapse to the ground because it was yeah. sort of held up in the house. Just saying. And if it falls to the ground, then maybe <laughs> we can do that later. But It's up to you. All right, so you guys are running all in a group. Um, we definitely have 
a fleeing situation here uh. as this thing is chasing oh. you. Um, I feel like my fling is on whoever. No, no, me. you're yeah, you're you're okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start with Rose. I don't know. Uh, let's say Rose has the same amount of. We'll just use the same character. Okay. More so. cheerleadery. Yeah, more cheerleadery. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. But very oh, yeah. skeptical. She's very skeptical. The most this skeptical isn't happening at all. <laughs> <laughs> She's in denial. Uh, I guess I'm going to spend uh, six points. All right. So I'm going to show them what points they need to get away from the creature. Because it's going to be different Am I for also all in us. high heels? No, you're not. Ah. You're more, just in your cheerleader practical. uniform. Because <laughs> you have your yeah, pom-poms. That would happen. Pom -poms. <laughs> well, we're we're at that, a basketball that, game. that is what she has to get. Go ahead, roll. And how many points did you spend? Six. Okay. So uh, we'll go to you. Oh, you, not you. We'll go to Nick. All right. I'm dead. Wait now. Um, and you know that more than likely she's slowing you down a little bit. Right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have the sudden adrenaline surge. Okay. That I'm gonna. I'm spending eight. Eight fleet. All right. Can I get a picture of your shirt? So, oh, is it going to be the same number, or I figured that we'd have different numbers because I'm because I have the demo. Well, you one. need to roll. How many points are you using? Eight. Eight. Okay, go for it. Roll. All right. So eleven total. All right. Whew. Well, what's your decision? Yay or nay? Nay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm spending four. All this right. This is a classic. I don't have to run faster than the monster. I only have to run faster <laughs> than these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, nine. It's a horror movie. So no, no, no. I'm totally with it. All right, so all of you guys are able to I get away. I'm not Paul Reiser. You're not Paul Reiser. We just <laughs> watched that recently. <laughs> yeah. Real dead, man. Dead. All right, so you guys make it into the shed and the, the garage. garage. I mean the garage. What's uh, what's in the garage? There's a really like there's a a really old. Um, 1920s car uh, looks like it's been sitting here untouched for years uh, there's some newspapers um, uh, on the uh, workbench uh, and there are old pictures of uh, uh, like old kind of faded pictures uh, and an old calendar it looks like a workshop kind of thing okay uh, and there are there are tools in here and different things like that anything can in the pictures the that's yeah you can lock the door anything in the pictures that might give us a clue to anything um well it just looks like a family um, but no the uh, yeah, no eight foot no the, no eight foot um, uh, the uh, newspaper is uh, uh, no the, Harry for these Andersons the the Dunwich Daily um, could I and while all this is happening ask um, Tasha to help me find some way to splint my leg. Yeah, you guys want to do a yeah. medical role to, f to help? Okay. Can I, like, coach them with sure, my Sure, absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so, but I want you to make the role. How many points are you going to... And let's just be... Yeah, how many points? This is going to take a lot. I'll use... Uh, I only have seven. I'll use three. <laughs> are you sure? I don't know. Are you for your femur surgery? What time is it? <laughs> Spring for four. <laughs> okay, I'll do I'll do four. Okay. All right. All right. That's six. So ten. All right, cool. Yes. They uh, they, they are able to do a splint and 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 it is horrible. Yeah. It is the you scream out as they, they fix your, put your leg in the best that they can do. But yeah. I don't pass out, do I? You, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, good. 
Okay. So what do you guys want to do? You have a car. So so these these uh, old cars are more mechanical than electronic. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I, oh. I yeah. think that I, I I think there's a good chance that I might be able to get this working. We can get the hell out of Dodge. Sure. How many points do you want to spend? Um, spend. How many do I have left here? Oh, Two, four. four. <laughs> yeah. Everything else uh, is burned. That doesn't scrape well enough. Uh, I'm going to spend waste. five, which is all the points I have left. You hear a scraping on the wall. <gasps> Woo! That's nice. Okay. Oof. Yeah, you. Uh, it's pretty old, um, but uh, because you rolled so well. Uh, Luckily, um, through the back door uh, comes Crank starter. Uh, <laughs> Jason Wong. He comes through the back Jason, door. Jason. Jason. He's Jason. been missing this entire time. So I hid in the woods with the gas. I, I went out and got the gas from the thing. So <gasps> um, that's your luck. Right. <laughs> 420 bra. <laughs> yes, I was just, what's going on? So Jason Wong comes back through the door. He's like, I, I was hiding. I, here's a here's a bunch of gas that you can can use. Oh, Jason! Thank God. Okay, put put it in the tank. Let's let's go. We have to get out of here. I can't explain now. Okay. So you guys fill up the tank. You jump in the car, um, and uh, you get the you get the car started. Um, which way are you going to drive? Not towards the ravine. Right, back back towards um, the opposite, the opposite way. way. Yeah. Okay. And hopefully find the roads and get back to Miskatonic. Who has or, driving? Or civilization. Mm -hmm. I probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I have driving. Thing. <laughs> Listen, it's Josie. It's not here. me. It's Josie. No. I have driving. It's totally her. It's Josie. <laughs> nice. Ah, and, oh, you're dead. I'm dead. Uh, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm Rose. She's yeah. Rose. You don't, don't have, you dri you I have, have normal driving. driving. I have like. filch. Is that like stealing things? Yeah. yeah. I should have been stealing things this whole time. What was I thinking? I have driving. Okay. Okay. So and don't you too? I do not. You do not. Okay, you do. You okay. should. I should have put driving. So I guess I'll put. Should I put? I have eight driving. Sure. sure. I, don't I think this is all of it. The only time so, yeah. be in a all car. of it. Man, I, I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> I, haven't <laughs> I don't driven. know how to drive one of these old cars. I get it started. <laughs> Can't drive stick. <laughs> Suddenly the door busts in. Oh God! And this oh thing's God. coming towards you. Oh God! Yes. Boom. Wow. Boom. We drive. Guys, we kill him in the process. <laughs> Clip him. You guys Clip. fly down the road. Uh, At the opposite 25 side. 25 miles an hour, right? Exactly. <laughs> We're like 30. Okay, um, well. And you're, you know, you're you're flying us. through the, uh, <laughs> there's like a small dirt road. road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awful. Somebody hold my leg, please. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, you are, you see the, like, the burning debris of the house in the distance, and you're on this dirt road. And uh, you drive and you drive and you drive and you're out in the middle of like the deep woods with uh, uh, with uh, mountains and everything else and, and finally the gas runs out. <laughs> but you're far away from, you see the smoke way back and you guys uh, keep walking a little bit um, and then uh, you see a little shack not far away next to the, the river. And this guy comes out, and he's really dirty looking, and he's got a shotgun. He goes, well, aren't all you far away from the city? And that's the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, a lot, thanks a lot, guys. Um, I hope chat enjoyed Fear Itself. I had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Um, as you can see, it's... Uh, I think that's a win for a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> characters, mostly. Mostly. We, we, we yeah. just got Standard. out of Dunwich Horror and into Deliverance. Yeah. 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 Basically, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you very much for watching. I feel uh, like he's the guy from Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did great, Barry. Yeah. You did I told him all about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, this was a uh, one shot. It is in the black bag universe. Um, uh, 
so it might come into play in future games. So remember it is what I was saying. Some cool things that are going to be happening uh, on opposite Fridays is Never Tell Me the Odds. Uh, awesome Star Wars uh, game and we're going to switch players. So we're going to do a one shot where uh, the Never Tell Me the Odds players are going to come play Call of Cthulhu Black Bag and Megan, Jordan, Ben and Michelle will go on Dave's show, David's show and play. That's going to be cool. That's going to happen in September. If you like what you saw, definitely join the uh, Saving Throw Patreon uh, account to help out with that. That would be awesome. Um, and then I'm going to go around the table and let these guys uh, say, if, is there anything going on with anybody? We'll start with Megan. Nothing major. Not major right now. No, you can follow me on Twitter. You know, that's fun. And all of our Twitter handles are, are down below. Mm -hmm. Nick, you got anything going on right now? Um, nothing at the moment. I may have something <coughs> to announce next month sometime, assuming Ooh. I get any screen time, but uh, mm -hmm. nothing I can talk about right now. Cool. Okay. Uh, I, too, have a lot of things going on. Um, in another couple of days, I'm going to be releasing, through Plate Mail Games, a location. It's a living cavern, and it's also got... Uh, it's got maps, it's got, um, it's like a adventure, little adventure setting and audio, all, all three mixed together. Um, I'm going to be putting that out on Tuesday. Um, you can always check out my stuff on Drive Through RPG, everything you heard tonight. Um, the great thing about uh, our stuff is you just need, I use uh, iTunes, you can use whatever, anything that plays MP3s. You don't need anything special, um, and everything is is done by myself or, or Michelle, and uh, so that's what Michelle and I are doing. Um, do you have anything? Just follow on Twitter. Just follow me on Twitter at Michelle. Philip, thank you. Did a great job tonight. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for joining us for yeah, you know for this uh, for this one shot. Uh, do you have anything going on? Not really. really. Not? Okay, cool. So thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate it. I'm totally losing my voice because I talked way too <laughs> fucking much. Um, have a great weekend, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. 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 Bye.